No, where is it? Okay. There we go. Okay. Is it finally going on? Is it? Is it finally? Okay, it's going through. It actually is going through this time. Okay. Oh, what, a, what a what a wonderful way to start off a stream, isn't this? Ah, but how's it? How's it? Ah, it did. Again, after it has been so long since I actually last streamed, but it actually is so good to see you guys again. And and Fast Detective Kudo, hi, welcome, welcome into the Paper Plane Inn. I'm Mikoto Nui, and I'm a PNG tuber, uh, uh, PNG tuber stream uh, streamer where I get to draw and I also do some games. And today is going to be the day where I get to draw today. But so yeah, it is so good to actually see you guys again. I wish that things were a little bit much more favorable last week because Steve and I were actually um, had to go to his folks' ranch to stay over for a, about a week there. And things were all said and good, but on the day when I was getting ready to stream, like this, like this about Thursday of the week, um, the internet actually just died during that time. and. Well, it kind of sent both me and Steve into a sort of limbo that even if I do want to use my phone to actually just, you know, use the access of the internet, I don't want to use up all of that in one sitting. So, unfortunately, I had to cancel the streams that I had planned last week. And um, we're basically making up with that for this week. And, yeah, I'm hoping that things would actually be a little bit more better for this time around, but so, yeah. Uh, oh, Bearwall, thank you. Thank you so much for the sub for 19 months. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Mikoto, how are you? I just bought me a, 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 the D&D cookbook. Oh, that's wonderful. Is it the, um, is it the Heroes Feast one, is it? Because that's the one that comes to mind when I think of that. But, so, yeah, I actually am looking forward to doing this, you guys, because we're doing something that we haven't done in a very, very long time, and that is actually designing the Pals to Plushies um, line. Now, some of you have remembered back in the day, well, what actually helped um, jump-started this whole thing when it comes to um, my streaming bit, and that is to actually um, make... make uh, pal um, chibi-fied plushy versions of my friends and then eventually to be tubers themselves and it, it has been a very fun chain line and actually is the one that I got to do this now let me just uh, turn this up here and oh no and as you can see this is what I meant when it comes to pals the plushies and now we're actually going back into doing this again and I am so looking forward to doing this because this time around we're actually going to be doing plushies of uh, people that I actually met um, during, uh, that I've met and encountered back in WeaveCon this year which is the one back in late March and we actually had, um, Steve and I had fun in our own way there despite it has its own fair shares ups and downs and I'm hoping that I get to showcase my story of my time there for everyone to sit down and listen. Stay a while and listen, if you will. And Renia, hi! Welcome back! Welcome back! It is so good to see you again. Now, without further ado, why don't we actually go into the podium right now and we can actually get started right away. Alrighty then. And, oh, God! Ah! Oh, all of my stuff is now outside of the jar! You know, when I was about to empty out my jar so that more stuff will be filled in, that is not what I actually had in mind. <sighs> well, what can you do? It'll be, um... It, it'll be situated later down the line. It, well, it is empty now, I think. But anyway! 
Anyways, um, how about we actually get to work with it doing when it comes to this Pals the Plushies lineup? And I am actually excited to do this again because it hasn't been something I wanted to do for a long while now, if you will. I also have a Kudo. Uh, also gave Kudo a heads up about the Gremlin. Ah, oh, okay. Well, um, I think it's not a wise idea to summon Gremlin right now because she's she's currently watching her. Sh yeah! Ow! Hey! Ah! Ouch! Oh, oh, she's in the middle of watching her show. So, how about we actually give her? Um, uh, we'll do the thing later down the line, if you will. You know, give Gremlin some leeway because last time when that when someone tries summoning the Gremlin early, well. <laughs> anyway, so without further ado. Do. How about we actually go start off our Pals the Plushies lineup by drawing out um, this lovely person right here. And Professor, hi! Welcome back! Welcome back! It's good to see you here again. And this one here is Birdism. And she is... Uh, is uh, and she and I got to meet her alongside with Fairbanks um, earlier in the con, and we actually had a lovely time. She is a very lovely person, and now um, I am going to finally get to draw her out as a small little marketable plushie. Now I can actually hear some people um, just had the realization and be like, uh, me. Miki, hold up on a second, you say over there in the chat. Um, you said Fa you said you actually met Fairbanks, and you and Fairbanks is your friend. Ow! Hey! Ow! Wild! Ow! Okay! Jeez! Oh, Savage! Thank you! Thank you for the sub for ten months! Thank you! Oh, goodness, Gravity! Are we having a... Are we having a... Are we having a, a hype train? You have limited time to earn exclusive emotes? Uh, oh, okay. Um. Oh, God, it is a hype train. Okay, okay. Do you think we can actually um make progress with this hype train today? I hope so. But so, yeah, let's make that hype train kind of work and happen. Oh, but, okay, where was I before, um, I got, oh, Kurian, Kurian Dan, thank you, thank you for summoning me, thank you, thank you, oh, goodness, we're only at, like, one minute, we're only, like, 93% away before we reach, um, before we re reach, um, level two, goodness, I, feel free to push that on um, train as best as you can, you guys, I do, I do truly appreciate it. Okay, before I um, lost my train of thought, um, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, um, about Fairbanks. Okay, I know you guys are probably wondering and why you're actually um, thinking, Miki, hold up, this isn't, this doesn't make sense. You said you met Fairbanks back in um, WeebCon, and Fairbanks is your friend. How come you're working on Birdism instead? Well, I'm glad you... Well, allow me to actually explain on that front. Um, I actually made Fairbanks' model um, plushie much er uh, much earlier. In fact, I made Banks' plushie um, right around their birthday, if you will. And the Banks' plushie is right around... Okay, one of these things is not like the other. One of these things is... Okay, A, B, C, D, E... Okay, there they are. There they are. And Banks is... And, and I got to... But, and Banks' plushie is right there. Yeah! I actually managed to finish their plushie um, long ago. In fact, around, around, right around last year when it was about... When it was their birthday... And I decided that, um, and I di only did this thing offline, which, um, Banks ended up l loving it. So much so that, the, um, it's actually featured into, um, one of the fan art lineup whenever Banks actually goes live. 
we're only two minutes away until the stream uh, until the high train is over so oh let me go ahead and stretch real fast <laughs> Okay. All right. So, um, let's see. Do I have a um? Uh, do I? Did I got a hydrant redeem? Oh yeah, there it is. I'm not shrimping, but wild. In fact, I am just explaining why is it I, um, I never got to explain. Why I, I'm explaining how come I'm I'm not doing um Fairbanks's plushie instead working on their significant other and now I finally did got to explain so yeah but yes um you know this looks a little bit on the deeper um on the bigger end so let me actually um just adjust this a little bit. Okay, so I guess that would most likely do, so. Knowing Gremlin, they might get hungry for a chocolate whenever they get summoned. Maybe so. I know, I always say stop shrimping when I redeem a stretch. Oh! Um. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Because, um... In certain avenues, shrimping is pretty much the safest way to say the word um, closely related to it because um, of how uh, of how Twitch has um, has a ludicrous rule when it comes to that word, which is dumb because you know I don't know why such a oh the train's over. Well, that's okay. There will always be another day. But I do appreciate that you guys um, try your best to make that train, um, hype train work. There will always, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I know that there will come another day where we get to have another hype, a successful hype train. But I still do appreciate that you guys still try to your best to make it work. Because of you, cause you have a shrimp posture. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. But yeah, um, the reason why it took me a while to actually get that because here in Twitch, shrimping is the safest way to say the other word that where it's the H is silent, and Twitch has this fun has this weird thing where um. If you actually say that word, you actually will get banned for it. Which is dumb because what because you know, uh, I get that there's some, that there are some streamers that actually um sell out when it comes to doing that kind kind of method, but eh. Why do I get a magical girl vibe from this commission? It's not really a commission wild it's more like um this is like a a gift a tribute gift if you will and that also goes with the other vtubers that i did encounter here as well into um uh, into weebcon earlier this year and i can understand the level of confusion there because most of the time when i drop most of the time, when it comes to when I when I draw, it's usually um, goes into two categories: my personal art and drawing for uh, personal art and commissions, if you will, as what you guys have seen as of late. But not this time, though. This is more of a a tribute, a gift, more of a gift. This is definitely a gift. Okay. The Ulu Land was a big shit show from what I heard it was. Oh! Well, I've heard it from Victoria that it was um, a shit show in her end. Which, 
I will definitely would explain a little bit further from what I learned from Vixoria. Um, cause a couple weeks ago, she did actually made a stream where she talks about her time in WeedCon. More specifically, the panel booth that, um, where, um, she and Zolon, alongside with a few other, um, v prominent VTubers, would actually be held there. And from... I couldn't actually help but actually sweat bullets because I had a feeling she's going to be most likely talking about um, people that she encountered during the um, the signing um, segment. Mm. Ah. Ah. I swear to God, I am going to take away that redeem. Okay, just for this one time before I finally would continue more on the story. Okay, okay. It will. It always hurts me every time I do it. Okay, now that I finally did that, um, please, can I actually explain the story so I can, um, before I actually for would forget further? I get that you guys are so excited to actually see me again, but. Well, it's kind of hard for me to actually sh um to actually share and show uh, share the story and what and what I ha um have in mind because I tend to be a forgetful person. So, I'm trying my best to make the be make the best out of a bad situation uh, out of a si cur out of a messy situation. Yeah, that's the right word for the job. Okay. Well, from what I heard from Victoria in the Grapevine is that, um, uh, what I heard from Victoria during in that, um, it, during in that, um, stream is that the handle, ha uh, oh, oh, okay, sure, that's, um, well, ha, already, ro off to a good start. Okay, where's my rune? Okay, uh, ah! There. There we go, done. It's gonna give five minutes until everything is back in order, so we're gonna go ahead and actually wait for that to get back in order since Great Restoration takes a while for it to finish. Can I please, um, you know what? Maybe I might concentrate on this art now since I since I can't really, uh, I, I think it's going to take a while for me to actually get back to the story. So I think I'll concentrate on this art for now. Let's see. I think I'll have to, um, given that Birdie's, um, actual model has a bit of, um, lots of details in here. I may have to make things a little bit um, more simplified, if you will. Look, if I see a... Uh, look, if I see a button that has a flashing sign that says you have enough points to press the big red button, I'm gonna press the big red button. Maybe so, but... Okay, so... I may have to simplify her frills into... This, okay, and... Okay, so it looks like she has a bit of a big ribbon in her, um... So I may have to work on that. But, so, yeah, how is everyone ever since the past week? Things, um, I wish, um, let's see, things haven't been, um, favorable a little bit on my end during, uh, my time house sitting in the ranch, but how is everyone? Did you guys actually had a, um, uh, did you guys actually had a good week last week, if you will? 
Let's see. We should probably have a rule for no summoning gremlin early. Hmm. Pretty much. I mean, you're not entirely wrong. Let's see. It was okay. That's good. That's good, at least. Okay, we'll just have to simplify her bows. So, it will be a little bit easy. I may not get everything when it comes to the details, so I'll guess I'll just have to work on this. I have been busy making Feywild adventure stuff and planning the revenge arc for the party against a certain ex-husband. I wonder who's the characters involved when it comes to that party or parties. I don't know. It's not like I'm involved in a campaign where you're up there and been hold by two different <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's see. I got my wisdom teeth removed. Oh goodness, I I hope you actually are having a good recovery so far, Jexa Dragon, because wisdom teeth removal is not fun for most, for, for everyone, so I hope that you're doing okay. Okay, so. Let me go ahead and, um. And my fanfic, uh, uh, um, plus I've been busy due to work at the end of, since I'm trying to work on a fanfic. And, uh, my fanfic is based on Survivor. Miss you on Saturday, by the way. I, yeah, I, um, I do miss you too, Bearwald. I really do. I am just, um, hoping that this time around, that n on the Saturday after this one, Things would actually finally look up in terms of the witch-like campaign because it has been so long since I actually play as Ness. I'm starting to huh, feel a, bit, a, a little bit doubtful. Or doubtful is not the right word for the job. More like, um, scared? Me anxious, anxious is the right word. And AFD, hi! Welcome back! Welcome back! It's, a, it's good to see you again! And up! It looks like everything is now going back in order, and there we go. Now our, um, now our stream is back in order. Okay, so... Okay. We're almost done drawing out the basic when it comes to her design. It looks to me that she actually has really long hair too. She kind of has a, with her color palette, it kind of reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream. And I actually like Neapolitan ice cream. It may not be my favorite flavor, but I actually like how it actually appears and how, how, um, smart it is to combine flavors that is based on three different um, kinds of ice cream. Um, how's it going, Mikana? I want to tell you that September 29th in five months, it's going to be my birthday. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad that you actually, I, I hope you actually have a good birthday when that time comes. Really. Right now, I'm drawing my OC Azrael in her original design outfit and redrawing her original design in my more prevalent art skills. Oh, that's good. That's good. I hope that you actually, um, I, I'm, I'm really happy for you, honest. Okay, hold on. Her face is a little bit high, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that. And I don't trust myself using a, um, I don't trust myself, um, sticking with the original, um, layer where I have her outfit so far, so... We're gonna um, play smart and use a different layer for um, the rest of her other um, body, if you will. 
Let's see. This art design for what Mika is doing looks magnificent so far. It seems um, to be in the form of a chi chibi version of the character. This is Birdism. She is a... She is also another VTuber that I met during WeebCon in there. And um, she's act and she is Fairbanks' partner, if you will. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that I got to meet her alongside with Fairbanks. And we actually um, actually had a good time together during our, during our time at WeebCon. So much so that um, when WeebCon was over and we we're actually on our way back to our home, um, we decided that... Ba Banks and Birdie actually invited us out for dinner, and as long as like we get to meet them into their original home in um, the town, not not too far from us. Because the one surprise that I learned when um, I I got to know Banks is that they actually live two hours away from us. I mean. What are the odds that they're actually that close, you know? I mean, that is the biggest surprise, but a welcoming one. <clears throat> so, yeah. We got to actually meet up with Banks and Birdie um, after, um, after WeebCon, when we're finally done with our time in Sunday. And we actually had the most wonderful time that we, we, where we could, um, where we could, where they actually gave us a tour around the place. Um, they also, we also managed to find ourselves the one restaurant that was available for us because it was a Sunday. And boy, most of this um, good stuff, uh, good places there were closed during that time. You know, it's it's times like that where I wish that we actually came in much sooner. Oh yeah, it's it's not just any other Sunday. It's an Easter Sunday. So that's also a double whammy on itself. But but we did manage to find ourselves this one bar that is in that in, in that town and we actually had a blast during our time there and we actually got to know a little bit more uh, of our time there, and we had, who never thought that these two would eventually become, well, good friends, just because we, uh, just be, all thanks to that one coincidence that we actually um, lived uh, close by. We told our, Steve and I told ourselves the next time we do visit, we're planning to do this in um, a the time a, a very good time before everything closes up later in the afternoon because we do not want to repeat that one mistake ever again because the town the place that they live in there's so much to offer and trust me i do not want to um miss out anything that I, I, i'm i'm a bit of an urban druid i like to um explore um, new places that they have to offer. So, yeah. Okay. I guess I might try to work on that. And I hope this bang might just be in, um, tall enough for her. Okay. But. Whatever. And to think, we finally got to see each other and meet up with each other during the Ululand booth when back on Saturday. I think I might be okay. I think things might be okay enough for me to actually talk about what I know in, in Ululand and during our time and during our time there up to meeting Victorian bunch because when you look at well, when you look at things in a different perspective, you can't help but actually wonder, um, you can't help but, what, but wonder if the other party is okay. Okay, where do I actually begin? I've learned from the grapevine from Victoria's channel, um, uh, Victoria's stream, that, um, the best way to actually describe the situation that Victoria, alongside with the rest of the people of um, the other v prominent VTubers in Uwu Land, 
is a bit of a shit show. Because when Steve and I actually got there in Ubu Land, it actually looks okay. It seems like a very prominent booth, um, prominent booth and section of um, WeaveCon. Like, you got... Uh, I'll bet it's a little bit um, small. I, I know... Sure, it looks a little bit small. Sure, it looks a little bit, um... What's a proper way to actually describe this? Um... A little, um... What's the proper way to actually... What's the right word for this job? S um, simplified? I think I'll go for simplified. Um... It looks a little bit on the simplified end, um, cause you got one booth that is dedicated to the merch that is record- that is dedic- that is for the VTubers that are assigned to Uwu Land. And, um, yeah, scuff might be a, also another word. Um, cause, um, there's also the booth that they also sell the, um, the prominent, um, drink energy drinks and such there, which, um, Steve and I actually, um, managed to get a couple of things from that place, and I thought, I, I mean, I, in my perspective, I thought, this seems kind of fine. Little did I know that, um, at least to the person outside affiliated to Ulu Land and whose booth is supposed to be there, it seemed fine. However, um, to those who are assigned to Ulu Land to have their boots go there, it was an utter shit show behind the scenes. From a that at least that's what Victoria said. Like, according to Victoria, um, she said alongside uh, that there hasn't been really um, proper accommodations to the VTubers that are, uh, the VTubers that were supposed to be there for the side, for the meet and greet. Um, what the fuck? Okay, I may have to fix this up a little bit later. Like, um, where do I begin? What do I remember? What, what's the one thing I remember most from Victoria's stream? Oh yeah, um, like, I heard that the, from the grapevine from Victoria's stream that they don't have the proper accommodations for the VTubers that were there. Going as far as, um, there has, there is no place, there's no proper place for them to sit behind the scenes where they, some of them have to sit down on the floors and some of them, they don't even have bottled waters for them to actually hi keep themselves hydrated. Isn't that awful? And that's all. And I also heard that um, they don't really have any security when it comes to um, the VTubers who are very well known to be um, associated to um, mature audiences. Because um, Victoria, is, uh, because Victoria is a very prominent figure, and so so Zolan actually it couldn't help but worry for her because you know that there you can't help because. Um, because of the prominent danger for, for, because, with a lack of security. And as such, that, um, there, and, it, and I also heard from, from, and as such, um, their only friend that actually managed to be there in time for Victoria and Zolan was basically their only, set, uh, their only bodyguard during the whole time in, in, in WeaveCon. At least for when, the, when it comes to the meet and greet. They don't even have they didn't even pay for Victoria's friend during the time when uh, he had, um, he actually acts as um, lining everyone up so that they could actually properly um, do the side and meet and greet because it was another shit show. I didn't know this, but when I heard that what what happened to Victoria at that time, I I couldn't actually help but feel mortified for her and. I also feel angry for her too because from what I learned from what I also learned from um, Victoria herself from, from Victoria stream when she asked the people of we of Uwu land that do they have any merch 
for her to actually um for for her for her fans to actually sign um the people of Ulu Land just kind of said no we we didn't have any um posters or or p pictures for everyone to for everyone for for her to sign uh, for her fans to sign with and i also but then Victoria and Zolan later discovered that the sign that they used to um, dictate where her booth is going to be actually has her own, uh, is actually a piece of merch that she should have actually gotten in the first place. It, like, in the words of good old, um, wait, why did the music suddenly stop? Yes, I'm still there. Golem, please, I need you to b concentrate. And in the words of good old oversimplified, dude, uncool. So of course, Victoria and Zolan were actually upset about this. So yeah, it, the management, there's also another incident that also happened between Zolan and the people of Ulan, but Unfortunately, Victoria cannot talk any more further than that because it, it's, ba it's basically legal trouble bad. That is how bad it actually is. And all I can actually think of is um, I just hope that Victoria and Zolon are okay because though these guys are prominent figures of the, v of, of the VTuber scene, at the end of the day, these, they, they, they're also people too. And... I can't help but actually worry for that, you know? Maybe it's just me being a little bit too soft-hearted again. Okay. Hmm. I may have to over... I may have to simplify Birdie's, um, design. But, so, yeah... But in the end of the day, it's n all is not lost for um, what I heard from Victoria. She said that she um, this was the straw that broke the camel's back, and as such, Victoria ends up leaving Ubu Land for a much more better company, one that actually would treat um, her alongside with other VTubers under their belt into a better placement. And good for her, you know, good for them. I just hope that they're going to be okay in the long run. And then she eventually talks about her time when it comes to um, the meeting up the new fans and bunch in there. And that's going to be a story that I'll reserve when it's my when I finally get to design Victoria's plushie. Because uh, it's it, it, it's kind of um. It's kind of, it, it, it's kind of, there's a reason behind it. There's a reason. There, there, there is a reason for that. And oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's kind of um, why I learned from the grapevine through Victoria. And how I'm, because uh, when Steve and I were there in Ululan and Weepcon, it's kind of simplified and kind of um kind of meh yeah under her belt or under her <laughs> okay that's a good one i may not have um all of her designs for this so i'll just have to give her just the belt on the side and there we go. Wait a minute. No, that's not what I use for the ruler. Yes, that's what I use for the ruler. I had to go through a lot of trouble on working a new, uh, working up the, working up on fixing up my plushies template for my pals of plushies line because um. I kind of learned hor uh, a horrific thing that the, um, how do I describe this? Um, I kind of learned that, um, it's a little bit off-center on some plushies. 
that I, the, the, the ruler uh, the ruler and the plushies itself has been a little bit off center so it took me a while to actually make myself a new ruler a new um a, a new ruler and lining up uh, um the plushie template right so that way i can actually have proper symmetry because um artists make mistakes too and it's not very fun when it does happen <laughs> okay but um that's the base ink so far now we're going to work on this That looks pretty good. Hmm. Let me try to work on her sleeve. Because under one's wing is about someone un under um is about someone under one's care or mentorship. Under one's belt gains experience and occasional food. <laughs> I like a good pun for what Runia said, but I got nothing. Mm. But one thing I will say this though, um, I, it, you know, it really is so good to be back and streaming again because I have been so deprived during um our time up there into uh, into the ranch. You know, it kind of makes me kind of wonder how did people back in the day manage to make it work? There we go. I guess that looks pretty good. So now let's go ahead and make the colors for Birdie. We've only been here for about an hour and so far, um, you know, some plushies will end uh, from this lineup will be a lot easier than others. I have a feeling Zolan's plushie is going to be a breeze to work through. I mean, for sure. <laughs> I know Zol. I, I mean, let's see. Let's go ahead and clean these up here. That looks just about right okay she is tired of playing stardew valley in real life so she needs to do her <laughs> oh you have no idea like um don't get me wrong the ranch life is pretty fun it, it is pretty fun and dandy and all but i also would like a little bit of a balance where i can actually still do my thing at the end of the day <laughs> It's just that um, if, if there's anything that I do have a bit of a flack during my time there, it's the chickens that they have in their person. Like, I'm not throwing any shade on people who try to raise chickens. It's just that um, the couple of roosters that they kind of got in their, in their ranch are utter assholes, if you will. Like, um, wait a minute. Hold a second. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, it's it's right there. Okay, it's it's right there. Okay. For a minute there, I was gonna lose that ruler. I'm about to panic. Okay. Like, um, don't get me wrong. The ranch is fine, and and they also have a couple of chickens there that I I get to take care, that Steve and I get to take care of when we get the chance. It's the couple of roosters that they have in their person that are complete assholes. Like, bro, that what. Um, where do I begin? Okay, so they when it comes to taking care of the uh, of the chickens in their in their pen, we are tasked to do this one. We are pretty much tasked to do a keep on a, a keep a lookout, if you will. And that one is what is a gray one and an incredibly uh, and a black one, if they will. And. They say that um, when it comes to feeding the chickens, making sure their water is checked and all that bunch, always bring a stick on your person. That and 
I kind of uh, um, ask myself, well, I mean, it can't really be that bad. But then when I, but then, because, but then I actually learned that those two particular roosters, they are very aggressive when it comes to people getting way too close getting close to their pet, getting around their pen and bunch, just because we're minding our own business, trying to feed them food, trying to water the um, the greenhouse, which is kind of right there, and as well as try to, um, well, get some eggs that is from the, from the hens. I mean, I finally understood that, um, that kind of uh, sentiment now, because those two roosters try to go after me! And I was like, no, I I will not have it when they try to be aggressive to me. Like, no. So I actually finally understood. And um, I did not like the way how they had those attitudes. I don't know why they, were they, um, were they perhaps hatched like that? Were they, did they came out of the egg and be like, hey, I'm about to ruin their, your day. No, fuck that. So... When they finally tried to go after me, I truly had what none of that. So, um, when they tried going after me, I put a stop in it when, 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 it, when it does happen. Such as, um, I actually found a branch that was from, uh, that was fell off from another tree, and then I didn't bring the stick at me at that time. So I used that branch as multiple. So I used that branch to keep them off me as best I could. You better be stacked by raising ones that are wild and a and angry. I don't. Chicken farming is hard. I I can yeah it can be like that in it. So let's see. Whew. Okay, I finally took the time to tick off my. Okay, there we go. It. But I will say this though. Um, I do actually enjoy take up. Uh, if there's one thing I do enjoy from that from that bit when it comes to taking the chi when it comes to the chickens, it's the fact that of well, you get to um, get the eggs that you har that you harvested from them, because those eggs actually came out really good. They hatch from the wrong side of the eggshell. <laughs> Roosters just like to rule the roost. They don't like strangers that think they're threatening their mates or their eggs. Yeah, well, I... I just wish they weren't other assholes. Let's see. Now, the end of her hair is pink. So... And I just noticed that she has pink streaks on her hair, so that's going to be something to work on. I got to back to dry and invest in various color supplies, crayons, markers, and colored pencils. Oh, that's great! That actually is that actually is great to hear. Um. Yeah, because drawing in a, a traditional medium may be a little bit tricky to some people, but with time and practice, you can actually do it. I know it's uh, much easy for you to... I'm not easy to the average person to use digital media for um, drawing out uh, when it comes to drawing, but let me tell you this. Um... The traditional media actually helps you, gives you the fundamentals of what you actually um, desire when drawing your art piece, if you will. And RFD, um, of the medias that you actually um, experimented with, which one do you actually like the most? Because when it comes to traditional media for me, um, I like using markers for coloring. And I, because especially when it comes to alcohol markers those actually would um when done correctly the colors blend in immensely beautifully and you, trust me it's actually worth it okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and start 
doing this. Drunk drawings? Oh, um, I don't think you guys would deserve to have that, you know? Because, um, trust me, you don't want to meet Drunk Nui. You, you don't. You don't want to meet her. You don't want to meet Drunk Nui. There are times I can actually do, I mean, if I can recall certain um, memories that I could actually do drunk art, but uh, no, you, you, you don't want to meet her. No, you, you don't. You don't want to meet Drunk Nui. You don't want to meet Drunk Nui. <laughs> oh, alcohol! Mm. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> okay. Now I alternate between markers and colored pencils, and sometimes I resort to using highlighter, aka my blue highlighter, to get the right shade of blue for Sonic's fur. Ah, fair enough. Not really, in a sense, boy splatty. I mean, in a, in a funny, in a, in a, in a comical sense, it can be like that. But alcohol markers are called like that for a reason. Because of the, um, the level, uh, the alcohol there would actually help, ble um, the alcohol in the markers actually ha ha have a comp actually have um a chemical component that allows the marker that allows the color and the pigment to be blended in perfectly well and it's a little bit of a step up towards um water mark water uh, markers if you will but trust me when i say this that um that alcohol markers once you're given a chance you will have the you will end up having the most beautiful colors you can actually do when once you try experimenting any tips for someone who wants to get into D&D cuz i was thinking of trying D&D as a dragon more paladin and the D&D cookbook is the deer oh yeah um well that depends on what kind of paladin you want to make you want to have because there are um, a few subclasses under Paladin. The race is pretty much done, but what do you have in mind for your pal? What kind of build, what kind of um, theme are you going for for this Paladin of yours? Because when you mention drunk, Miki, it kind of makes me wonder what do you mean, uh, what do you draw when drunk? I refuse to answer that question! Anyway, moving on! <laughs> Okay, let's see. I'm gonna start making her eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, let's see. I do have watercolors from when I was in high school. Oh, watercolors is actually not bad. I mean, I know some uh, several artists out there that could actually make um, watercolors ex exquisitely beautiful, if you will. Let's see. And I tried to dabble into watercolors, and um, I, it's still a work a, a work in progress. But I'm still happy and. <laughs> ah, good Lord, shit! Hello. Oh, okay, Jesus! You had to warn me next time, bro. <laughs> Sheesh! I see you are doing the plushies. Yes, I am. I'm still working on the first one, and that's, um... You know, when she told me to work on her, um, the, the actual version instead of the bird version, well... I told myself I definitely needed more practice, and given this is my, me coming back into Pals and the Plushies, I may have to simplify in certain areas, and I hope Birdie is okay with that. Oh, you never know. I mean... What is the occasion of these Plushies again? This time I... It has been six million years since I've actually did Pals the Plushies, and this time around... This okay for this occasion. I am designing. I am designing plushies that are based on the VTubers I met and encountered in WeebCon, if you will. Hmm. Yeah, although WeebCon may be almost a month old now, but even I still um 
I still had memories of my time, of my enjoyment there, so I might as well finally get this thing. Uh, I, I might as well finally just um, draw her out. What the? Why is the ah. fill? Ah! Hello, Jay. Jay, hi! Hey, it's been a little bit, Mickey. Hi, it has been six million years since I did a stream, and oh, it feels actually wonderful to be back live. Honestly, yeah, I was worried about your um, I was worried about your situation for a little bit, and I know your uh, internet crapped out uh, last week, right? Oh, you have no idea. Just when I was in the yeah. middle of gathering the, the material that is needed for the uh, for for the stream and oh you have no idea how immensely happy i am just to be finally be back live honestly i'm excited for the game tonight me too <laughs> oh at least it gave me time to finish the uh the picture of evil button well that, that's actually one piece of good news Thank yeah you. one piece <laughs> I like One Piece. <laughs> she also has streaming issues streaming lately and only just got back from the farming life to stream again. I mean, the real ah. life is not bad, you know? I can understand why some people chose that kind of particular life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is valid. Yeah, but if anything, I kind of like the life that Steve and I are in now. You know? Yeah, I mean, I can understand Arbor Ardor, but I'm more of a city kitty, you dig? Yep. That's weird. Wait. Wait a minute. What? Why is the ruler not working? Eh? Oh, crap baskets. Okay, um... I do not like that the ruler's not working. Actually, speaking of plushies, I've got something that I I know that you I already commissioned you for. Oh. You're sending in DMs. Okay. So. Oh crap, baskets! Is the is the is the ruler not working again? How? Oh dear. Why is it? Wait, you've been having trouble with the ruler lately? I mean, not really. It just stopped working for me now. Uh, all of a sudden now it was working just fine do i have to make a new one i think i may have to make a new one oh i have i, I, have I mean to if make a new i mean one. if you have to make it if you have to make a new one it might be it might be best to make one on top of the one that you've already got just so it lines up you, you can't, can't, can it work i mean you can always do it on a different layer and then and then delete the old ruler and move the ruler onto the one you got okay i don't that's, um, I could try. I could try. I mean, to, I mean, to be fair, I have never had a ruler stop working on me before, so this is news to me. I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's got anything to, new, to do with the uh, new Clip Studio edit or update. Blech. Who knows? Okay, let me see if this actually works out now, okay? Because nothing makes my ruins my day more than Okay, I placed the ruler on top of the old ruler. I um I managed to make it work. Might as well just shrug our shoulders and just carry on, I I think. Keep calm and carry on. Yeah, otherwise let's not let's not panic today. I um uh, we had one too many of that uh, um earlier today because I uh I had the biggest scuff by re not, not realizing I'm, um, deaf. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Ow, oh, my neck. Ugh. But I will say this. In my simplified version, Birdie's uh, um, avatar is so cute. I have to say, I really like this design. Me too. I mean. Is it a commission? No. When it comes to Pals the Plushies, they're not really commissions. They're gifts. They're tributes to the, um, the VTubers that I got to um, discover and basically, you know, got to know a little bit. Wait a minute. 
Hmm? Paid you for mine. What? Not really? No, I remember. This was before I was led into the theater. Huh. Well... Or no, not the theater. The inn. I, I commissioned mine. Well... Oh. It still counts as g gifts, too. I mean... Pals of plushies can uh, the pals of plushies lineup is both gifts and tributes. I mean, it gives tributes and commissions. Ah, I can't speak. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I won't worry about it now. Let's see. Um. I originally used paint, um, paint.net to make a custom survivor logo, but I have to resort to Iblis Paint to make sure the accident uh, won't happen. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so let me just stretch up a little bit before I continue further. There we go. <sighs> she just needs a couple more details in this, and then she's shipped off. Because the next one after her is the one that's... Oh, I remember who's next after this. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cop Oh no, is it gonna be hard to draw? Yes, but I can oh. I can survive! And I, I, I can do it! I can do it! <laughs> oh shoot, I gotta, I gotta get filled up with gas. Is it that bad? Yeah, it's, I got, I got three, di I got three dials left, so... Yeah, that's, that's bad. That's the no good. Yeah, that's, that's bad. That's no good. That's bad. That, okay. Okay, she has a yellow... Uh, she has a gold trim. So I may have to resort using this. Okay. Yeah, this is probably... This is probably for the best. I can pick up snacks for tonight's game. That's good. I mean... I I still also have some snacks too that we got during Dallas and it still has yet to be open so yeah I think that should be good. Yeah. It works out. Yeah. Okay, so. It's in park. Why isn't it? Why is it locked? There we go. Okay. Okay. She looks almost done. She's almost done. Almost. All right. Okay. All right. Let me know if the wind gets to be too much. The father is heavenly. Fa is heavenly. Um, heavenly is going to be reserved for like, last of this lineup. Cause when it comes to VTubers, um, lineup for Palsa plushies. I like to operate on friends first before acquaintances and other people mm. that are um, that I sort of look up to. If that kind of helps make sense. Okay. Okay, so that looks okay. And now let's choose our way when it comes to eye highlights. Using your picture clip card to earn money on every Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know if you can hear that. The stupid thing is giving me an advertisement right when I'm filling up for gas. Is it that bad? Well, it's like, it's like the terminal's giving me an ad for their app, and I'm just like, eh, no thank you. Don't want that. Okay, and I think Birdie is now done. Birdism is now finished. There, I will most likely fix the rest of this stuff, um, post, um, stream, so refinement will most likely be done, and, um, after that. Honey! Oh, shit. Thanks for using your card to earn freebies and save money on every gallon every day. What the fuck? You doing okay? Saving money on the gallon every day? <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, that was the that was the gas station pump. Uh, fair enough. But, yeah, I'm doing okay. A bit tired, but otherwise fine. 
I sent you messages Join the club. Earlier. Oof. I sent you messages earlier in our Discord. Did you catch them? I did, and I replied. Oh, shoot! I didn't catch that when you went when I went live. What What would you like for dinner tonight? Well, we can really go either way. We can turn the venison into burgers since we have both mushrooms and some fresh uh, farm eggs from the ranch. This is true. Yep. But at the same time, it's I was gonna say good. like. I was gonna say, like, are are we talking about Afton, or are you talking about actual Beniston? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh no! Sides, Nobody tell him. Sirens, light, give me strength for the the details I have to make. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing Vexus stuff. Yep. Is this from the uh, people we met at the uh, con? Yep. Nice. Listen. Yes, well, I Oh, hey, speak. Oh, hey, speaking of. Hey, Afton, we were just talking about you. Wait, what'd you say? Uh, anyways. <laughs> that you will taste delicious. Seriously, oh, please don't tell me you saw my tweet. No. What but tweet? We do have actual ground venison. Oh. Oh, good, good. Okay, I... <laughs> I only asked because I think it's, I think mm -hmm. a lizard folks hunting me. Okay. Oh, well, I'm gonna look now. I don't know. <laughs> and I see well, that you're doing Victoria. Yep, I'm gonna um uh, the next one in li in line is Victoria, which um. I hope I I had the strength, but I, I I hope I got the strength. I hope I have the actual strength to make the detailing on this. I I can mm -hmm. do it. I can do it. I I think I oh boy. So, can I ask who's been done so far? I only did the first one so far, and that's Birdism. Oh, gotcha. And she is Fairbanks' is a significant other. Oh. Mm -hmm. I did see the image for it, and it was very adorable. Okay, how am I gonna make this work? Does she have split? Does she have um, slit eyes, slit pupils, or? Uh... I'll go check. No, no, I got her other um, avatar right here, and yeah, it's slit pupils. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. I'm angry now, so I'm gonna leave for a bit. Never mind, found the problem. I keep forgetting I'm a natural scan where I don't have a nat natural light pouring out in the room. Oh, dearie. Mm. That sounds that sounds like a hassle and a half. It kind of mm -hmm. does, but I hope you're doing okay, RFD. So, let's mm -hmm. see. I okay. am going to struggle Love getting it. her eyes right. Let's see, do I get cookie dough or chips? Cookie dough. <clears throat> Let's see, um... They are indeed snake eyes. Let's see, um... Yeah, that'll do. Okay, but... Just hope she never plays dice. Let's see... I still get snake eyes every time. <laughs> Let's see. No? Okay, yeah, that'll do. Uh, okay, I am going. I am not gonna struggle like how I did back in Weep God. <coughs> Are you? Okay, Are you hold okay? on. No, no, I need um, to hydrate because my throat went dry for a second there. Oh my goodness. I'll Bonus. live! Bonus I'll time. live! I'll live! I just need to down some water for a bit. Yeah. And speaking of which, if I'm not mistaken, uh, <sighs> you had the bones and there was an internet problem, correct? Yeah. Yeah, we did um, had that. Like, um... I only I took Wednesday off last week, so I can actually um, do some 
cleaning about uh, um, and taking care of things about before um, I get myself ready for the stream that, I'll be, that was supposed to happen ne um, last week Thursday. And while I was in the middle of trying to gather all the material for references of the plushie for the Palace of Plushie lineup, the internet went down during that time. And uh, no amount of any attempt of fixing it managed to bring it bring it back up. And as such, I am forced to. I'm basically forced to let, uh, to cancel all of my streams at that day, and that made me very bag? upset, Miki. Mm -hmm. Oh, that must have been. Having no internet can drive anyone crazy. I. It makes me kind of wonder how did people back then manage Thank to you, make sir. it work. Oh. I think it's now I know not to open that one. I think it's more the fact that with the internet, there's a lot more open communication. And people back then were like so used to just being in their communities and such that they wouldn't worry about things outside of it until, well, the internet came and gave us a whole hell of a lot more communication. Oh boy, tell me about it. Well, it's both a blessing and a curse, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And now the internet's become this giant monolith of just centralized, uh, Centralized corporate feed, uh, content feeding. <sighs> it's frustrating. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah especially. It just feels like there's. It feels like there's just not a lot to do over the internet these days anymore. It's all well, social media. I mean, if not for social media, we would not all be talking right now. Pretty much. You have a point. I'm not. I'm not saying that I that I hate social media entirely. It's just. It's just like, I don't want there to just be social media. Know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That, I can agree with you, because it kind of, uh, it kind of, like I said, it has its good points and it has its terrible points. Yep. It gets exhausting. All right, RFD. Very nice. Oh. oh, go ahead. Um, uh, I was going to say, you take care now, RFD, okay? You... Make sure you um take make make sure you get to relax. Okay, so I am gonna try my. I am struggling to get her chest just right. I'm not doing it any justice. Like, you gotta make him look like the mountain. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. She is rather busty. Mm-hmm. I mean, she, like, these are, um, the, uh, the, after all, she is basically a sun eater go goddess, so, yeah? <laughs> Wait, that doesn't technically make you your enemy, considering your god, uh, your own goddess is of the sun? I hmm, mean... Interesting. Well... Uh no, 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 this is this is just more of a this is more of a Sam and Ralph Wolf scenario where they would be enemies, but they're also cordial when off duty. Yeah, exactly. That, that actually makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah, that does make a lot more sense. <laughs> like when you think about it, it's just that, part of your job. Yeah, it's like how Ares is not always plotting war. It's huh? just when war's happening, he needs to. He needs to be doing there. what he must. Because that, it, that's basically his, um... Yeah, you're not entirely wrong, because Ares is not always, um... A warmonger? Or a warmonger. Yep. I mean, in certain like, cultures, and he's also got... He's also a god to any... Uh, to other things, too, you know? Yeah, yeah like, for example, like... Dionysus is not just the god of wine. He's also the god of theater. Oh, I didn't know that one. Yeah. Huh. Oh, you learn something new every day. It's also due to the fact that the reason why he's so feared and so popularized by Spartans is because of his kin, who are essentially the gods of fear and terror. <laughs> Let's see. Go I'm, figure. I'm not sure if I got this um bralette right for her chest, but I think that's a good enough, and I'll just have to go as there. It's a caricature, yeah. hon. It's not meant to be 100%. That may be true, but 
you're talking to someone who has, um, who's very, uh, whose crippling flaw is perfectionism. I mean, Ooh, listen, as an artist, listen, as an artist, we all have crippling perfectionism. Yep. Uh, it's, this is it, where I'm going to go because I do need to get back to work. All right. You take care of right. it, honey. Love you, hon. I love you, too. Ah, mm. home at last. Like, I've been, like, for the last three, for the last few days, I have been currently wrapping myself up with Arknights. Because <laughs> they've released their newest chapter, and I've, oh, I'm having trouble with the boss already. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's a temporary thing, and it will get better. Yeah, it's true. I could definitely agree with that, but it's more the fact of the mechanic of this boss. That's okay. Really annoying. I have an idea for this one. Just like I did when it comes to the birdie, I'm gonna have to use a different layer, turn off the ruler from that, and try to go to town when it comes to her snake tail, if you will. Hmm. I see. Wait, I... yeah, you've done a Lamia pal plushie before, haven't you? Yeah. Is it. Wait, is it Lamia or Lamia? I pronounce I... it as Lamia. Same thing. Yeah. Here. Yeah, who like, says Lamia? I mean, I mean, I mean. Here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing. Like Lamia sounds like lame, which can also refer to someone who can't really walk, you know. And technically, Lamias don't walk; they slither. So would that make it a lame Lamia? Mm, I feel like it's just dependent more on the accent and the voice of the person who's saying it. Like. I can say it either way because, well, accent. British. 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 <laughs> no. British. No. British. No, don't you dare start. I've already had people make fun of me for being British today. <laughs> you know, you know. I'm British. British. <laughs> so. Jay, I will bonk you over the head. Yeah. Um. You know, working on Vexoria and also sweating bullets because I'm trying to make sure this plushie is just about right reminds me of how I almost lost my shit back at um back in Uwu Land in the Weepcon m almost a month ago, if you will. What did you do? I didn't do jack, except almost succumb to crippling anxiety. Oh, oh, ah. I was, I was actually worried that. Ah, uh, yes. Anxiety. Uh, I will actually look, I will actually share this other story now, ever since I kind of br br briefly brushed this up, um, touched upon this when I was working on Birdie's um, plushie. It, it, I mean, I did talk, I did sh um, talk about how Back in um, Twitch, back in not TwitchCon. What am I saying? They're both different cons. Back in Uwu Land in WeepCon, it was a shit show for Victoria, Zolan, and um, the other VTubers that were assigned to Uwu Land involved. And <coughs> now that I'm finally done with that side of the fence of the story, allow me to showcase my um, kind of respected because. When I heard that Victoria was talking about her experience in WeepCon, I thought that one of them would be like how she, my, uh, how she may have encountered me. And boy, that's a story on itself. Wait, encountered <laughs> you? Well, okay. When Steven, Steve and I went to WeebCon that Saturday, where I took the time to actually cosplay as Nui because it's the one thing that will help people recognize it's me. <laughs> For not only seeing um, Melissa's um, digital uh, di digital booth, which is going to be live there in we in Uwu Land, but to also see Victoria too alongside with Zolon, who um, they're gonna be um, be there in person. There is a clear cut difference between those two. Anyways, hmm. um, we arrived there in Uwu Land. We also had to go through the conundrum, which is waiting in line for um, <laughs> Uwu Land to finally open. And oh boy, I almost. Um, 
I swear, the ventilation in that time was so poor. It makes me worry for the makeup I um I worked hard on on my face at the time. So. Oh dear. Yeah, because heat would melt heat melts makeup. It's not fun. Hey Daisy. That's not Daisy. That's Maggie. Ah. That's the neighbor's dog. Mm -hmm. Daisy's a Daisy's a quiet puppy. Hello, baby! Would you like anyway. to come inside? Ah, uh, Daisy, come back here! Uh, Daisy! Okay! Daisy, no! No! Get out of the dirt bed! You might want to get- Ah, uh, take care of that! Daisy, yeah. come! Hey! Daisy, come here! Come here! Oh, that's something. Um, yeah! I, um... Daisy, come here. Come here. Come on, up. Silly dog. <sighs> Everything okay there? You good, I got her. Okay, that's one piece of good news then. <sighs> okay, so... We need to work on your obedience, Daisy. <sighs> um, everything okay now? Yeah, we're good. Uh, okay. Okay, so where was I? Um, oh yeah, F um, finally getting to uh, finally get, um, get going to Ulu Land. It took us a while to get there into the con proper because when Steve and I finally got there, and it was a, and especially during the Saturday, the traffic is uh, the traffic and going inside the building is. Most um chaotic, if you will. Like we had to um we were fortunate enough to find ourselves into a parking lot that to to get our car situated there. But banks, but we had to wait. But the arrival for Fairbanks and Birdism is go is not gonna be a while because they pretty much are leaving their town at the time so it's just only me and steve for the net for the time being but we did warn fairbanks and birdie birdie that the, the traffic there is going to be outmost horrendous so it, it, that's the heads up that we gave them as we actually get ourselves wait, um ready for the rest of the con after waiting in line in Ooh, for uwu land for god knows how long we finally got inside of the boots, and we're actually super stoked and super excited to what we have in mo seen inside. And just like how I described back in Birdie's video, in, when I was designing Birdie's plushie, it looks a little bit okay. Like, um, like it looks a little bit simplified. It looks a little bit um scuffed in some areas. Um. It looks kind of fine. So we decided to actually just look around a little bit more and then get ourselves ready to um, prepare ourselves for the lineup to see um, Victoria and Zolon. Hmm. Um, so we finally found the booth light. It took us a moment or two to get ourselves into the situation where Victoria and... Um, and Zolan's line is going to be because they both share the same li um, line as, as all. So um, we were there lighting up, and here is where the anxiety starts to crank up its little dial. Now, here it's no secret that I am a shy person. I I am very shy. I'm very um I can be a little bit recluse to new people, uh, especially when it comes to meeting up new people. I also have social, a degree of social anxiety, which makes me what makes me kind of wonder, uh, makes me kind of worried about how I will come off, how will I actually say to this person, and whatnot. 
And I'm also meeting a VTuber face to face and they get to see what I look like in person. That's also something that's dialing up into that meter and oh boy, I am starting to feel the jitters. Like, I try to um, tell myself to calm myself down. It's okay. It's going to be fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> Little did Mickey know it's almost not as fine. And we just made the mistake of letting ourselves into a meet and greet booth without anything to sign up. Uh, uh, without, without anything to sign for them, if you will. Don't they don't have pictures that they can just put their signature on? Well, I discussed this one back when I was making Birdie's plushie earlier. That, um... Mm -hmm. Victoria was supposed to have merch, if you will, to allow <laughs> people in the meet and greet to, um, do some signing and whatnot. But the people in, uh, who run Ubu Land, um, has the competence of that who run, um, good old Dashcon, if you will. Mm -hmm. With a dash of spite. Because they told Vixoria and Zolon that they do not have the merch that, um, that's re regarding to Vixoria for everyone to sign. But it turns out they actually do, but they turn use that as a sign, like the Egypts! So, <clears throat> Steve and I had to figure out what to do to allow them to sign, as I'm also trying my best not to lose my absolute shit. Because the anxiety is starting to run absolutely rampant at that time. So, Steve then has the idea that there's this one booth that they're selling the energy drinks there. And they were also, um, they were also at the, they were also selling the, the shaker cups there. Steve decided to go and, um, get the, uh, get the shaker cups for them to sign. And I was... Like, uh, wait, honey, wait, where are you going? Don't, don't leave me here! Oh, it's just only me in the booth, and I'm like the first in line. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I felt so. Oh, and I was like, it, okay, it's fine, it's fine. No, it's okay, Mickey. It's gonna be fine. Everything is just fine. You're gonna be calm down, and everything is fine. And then I heard the noise right behind me. I turn around and Victoria and Zolon are there in person as they're getting themselves ready for the upcoming signers. And we are bit and and I was in the front of the line alongside with Steve. Oh no! no. The internal screaming in your head must be through the roof. Yeah, I have no idea! Like, I can only imagine what Zolot and Victoria were thinking when they saw this one person pacing back and forth, trying her best not to fucking lose her shit! Like, I was so anxious! Like, holy shit! The first thing that was going through their minds is... Is she okay? <laughs> Like, do you, and, are you all right now? <laughs> and, um... Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. Sorry there, fellas, but I'm going into a tunnel. Oh, that is terrible timing. Ah. Oh, like... The anxiety went so far off that it summoned the gremlin. <laughs> Well, this could go either way, methinks. Methinks? Yeah. You, methinks you be right! Me also thinks... ...that I need a tea. What the fuck? I'll just be to him first. Gremlin! Easy! Calm down! Get away of yourself, Faye! You good? You good? I'm stupid, he's okay. Why were you screaming? Ah, oh, how scary was in the middle of Uno match when I was about to do the big win? 
Gremlin, come here. Come here. Get a hug from me. You know, since things need to be chaotic, I think I'll add to it. Chat, no. It's not Please chaotic don't. this time. Do not bring that foul, dangerous chocolate in here. It's not chocolate. It's something else, you fool. Do I look like a fool? I'm just kidding. Look, I noticed I have enough to do it, so, uh... Well, no. Yes. Oh no, I was gonna- <laughs> I was gonna say, Afton, you don't look like a foal, you look like a buck. Wow, good joke on you. <clears throat> Come on, admit that it was clever. It was. Glenn, I- Hey, where- Hey, where'd everybody go? I'm not sure. Gremlin! It's weirdly quiet. Too quiet. Gremlin? Die! Okay! Which one of you did it? Did what? Which one of you did what? I don't know. I. Like, it's one thing to summon the gremlin, but there's one thing that somebody out here just. Decided to make her cry the moment she just entered. Like. Oh, so. Oh no, it's anger. The angel of anger is here. Oh boy. Brace yourselves. I hope you guys um apologize to the gremlin next time she shows up in here. Hey, to be fair, it wasn't me that tossed the pillow. I was only responsible for breaking the textures. At least you proved, at least you claim innocence for that. Mm-hmm. Like, typically, we, I have no calls against the uh, gremlin anymore. In fact, we're on good terms with each other, so I don't see any major issues. I was gonna give gremlin chocolate cheese. Well... Maybe reserve that next time she shows up, though. That exists. I wait. That that does actually raise a good question. That that exists. Apparently so. <laughs> that gives me several questions. I uh, don't know if that I I I I kind of am curious in how it tasted, but at the same time. Yeah, uh... I would not want to eat that, though, wouldn't you think? No. No. There are some things you can actually, um... I hope that the gremlin would actually be okay, if you will. Same here. Hmm. I mean, there's chocolate cheesecake. Well, that's actually not a bad thing to uh, present. Maybe next time yeah, when she does get back, you know? Maybe maybe it's like similar to how like chocolate and cheese fountains work. Maybe it's something like that? Maybe. Who knows? I mean, last time I heard from Gremlin, she was about to make the biggest win, um when when she was wistfully um thrown into the inn what happened shall i drive puffball by the air and make them apologize to the house gremlin ah. mm -hmm. sounds like it's needed maybe so Uh, hold on a second. I just realized that the fan is not even on during this whole time, and it's ah, uh, it's starting to become blissfully 
Oh, God. Ugh. What's the temperature right now? It can't be this. It's 90! <laughs> I don't My love friends. the heat. I don't. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, before I forget. Okay, it should finally um get me back to normal. There you go. Uh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ugh, that actually feels a little bit better. Uh. Okay. Um, actually, guys, can we take a little bit of a 10 minute break? I kind of needed it so I can actually just get myself something to drink, and oh, it got it's it's sweltering here. I need a moment. Go gotcha. Eden, Mickey. Okay. Let's we'll come back at ten.
Greetings, Gremlin. Ah, I've got my nice net back again. Hmm, Gremlin, I actually have bought something recently, and I want to know if you want to have a try. Huh? Earlier ago, I went to one of my favorite tea houses, and they were doing this interesting thing called a chocolate-covered coffee bean. I I know how you are when it comes to energy, so I I just want to I would like to ask. Not the whole bag! Jesus! Shit! Shit! Oh shit. god! She took the whole bag. She's gonna be bouncing off the walls now. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm getting under the table. Come on, come on. Come on, my Atma. Come on, my Atma. I'm grabbing you Gremlin, you good? I do have a- I got chocolate milk here. Here you go. Have it. Take it for him. You good now? What'd you think? What do you think of the coffee beans? You, you good? Oh god! That's a caffeine overload. I'm getting the mop. I'll go get the mop. Why you like that? <laughs> you good, Gremlin? You good? Let's give a look at new one, though. But it's hard to catch! <laughs> My last girl wants to, eat, uh, wants to try other frog, though. Um, I don't have any more. You ate the whole bag, and that no, cost me quite a bit. Not that kind of frog! Well, not that kind of chiquito. What would you think of the chocolate? That's too many, sir! He's three out of ten. Yeah, it's quite bitter, isn't it? Yeah. Also, <laughs> House Cameron wants to go find another. It's gonna go, um, frog hunting now. Yeah, just don't eat them, please. I was gonna want to go find this frog, though. Oh, Gremlin, no! 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 No, no frog. No frog like that. That's not a frog, that's a bogus. But I was gonna want to pick frog! No. I was gonna go find this frog now. Gremlin, no! Oh, Lord. Why? Why are they like this? I don't know. Sometimes I think they need a little bit more possession. Need a little bit more to them. A bit of discipline. Okay.
first of all, I'm vomit. Second of all, um, the gremlin ate my entire bag of a something of a commodity of mine. What? How much did he get? I think you slipped up in the vomit. There you go. Why do you think she ate? That was mine. I was only gonna give her one, but she took the bag and scuffed it. Well, what do you expect when it comes to the house, Gremlin? She has little to no no control, you know, when it comes to sweet. You hide that shit if you have if you have a ba bag in your person. Yeah, I was only going to give her one and see what happens, but. No, she scoffed the whole thing and bounced around the room like a ping pong ball. You didn't even use a pillar to catch her. I tried to, but she got, but she dodged it. Look, at times like that, a pillow launched on her once would be enough to knock her down her tracks. One. Yeah, but you know, but you know, I don't have the heart to throw a pillow at the gremlin. The last time I did that, she sold the of the insect plague. No, Gremlin is resilient. Sure, she has yeah, feelings, but, but a majority yeah, but of the time she's resilient, I think. <laughs> Trying to hold on to my laughter when, she, when Gremlin barf right next to Shad's. Oh dear, no. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit. Okay, Cephalex, you take care. Look, I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine for now. Okay, mm -hmm. so Gremlin also said that she's going frog hunting. Oh, oh. Yeah, um, she wasn't hunting a frog in particular, more like a bogus frog. What? But why would Gremlin want to go fight that? I don't know why, and that's what concerns me, and I tried to stop her, and she wriggled out the vines again. <laughs> You good? I was in the middle of drinking when I got pillowed! Ah! Oh goodness! No in the box! Hi! Thanks for the raid! Well, Raiders, welcome, welcome! Hmm. Nice. But no in the box! Hi! Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome, Raiders! Welcome! I hope your stream actually turned out pretty good today. It's a little bit chaotic right now as we're still working on the second plushie today. But, um, everything is, should be fine, I guess. Possibly. Possible. Possibly. Sorta. Maybe. But, Unlikely. Yeah. I hope that your stream actually turned out pretty well today. Wait a minute. I think I may have done diddly goof when it comes to Victoria's um, head headdress. So we're gonna try our best to make it work. I haven't gotten a chance to raid you, and here we are. Well, I'm. Gr then I believe the timing is just right. Hmm. Hold on a second. It's. I'm pausing because my ankle is suddenly itchy. Okay, there we go. So, we're gonna, um... Make her headdress just a little pinch bigger. I hope that you're having fun with your art, Mikoto. I am doing okay. Um... I was actually, I'm currently drawing my Palace of Plushies lineup after it has been so long since I've actually done this. Um, it, it's been quite a few months. It has been, and I feel a little bit guilty that I haven't been doing, that, that I should, that I haven't been doing this for a while, so. Consider this as a welcoming back kind of um, stream for me to do this type of deal. Okay, so let's see. I mean, I was just 
Yeah, I feel a little exhausted after DMing my players an hour ago. Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm fine. It's more the fact that we have because of us having an Easter break. Um, I kind of lost track of our notes for for me DMing. What? Yeah. What? No! Yeah, but how are you able to make it work? Um, luckily I was able to, thanks to every single one of the players being note takers. Uh, or at least okay. Them all. So I was thankfully saved by them. Okay, but bro, try um. That's a cool, but still, it's still a, a sort of close call. Next time, you know. I mean, it's why I have written stuff down now, and, like, they're now at level 5, so they're actually going to be at the start of the week where they're going to be starting to sail now. Okay, okay, fair enough. So it would most likely take them quite a few days for them to get to the next isle, to the next island. Mm. And, oh, the encounters are going to be so fun for that. <laughs> Well, level five means. I hope enemies. it actually turns out pretty well. Yeah, I hope so too. Let's see. Uh, my pal Kudo was gonna prank the gremlin with a bucket of water set to drop on her to get soaked. What? That's mean. Look, sometimes I get that bullying the gremlin is all fun and good, but... Dude! I'm cool! Don't bully the gremlin, they've gone through enough already. Yeah! Even though they... Yeah, she did cause a lot of carnage in the past, but it's not like she does that a lot now. I mean... There... I, I kinda wanna believe that there's a reason I got her in the first place, you know? Cause... The gremlin was basically, um, was from an old totem that I have that's meant to be given, that's meant to give me good luck as long as I don't, um, as long as I don't break it. I accidentally broke it, and sure, she gave me some level of chaotic, um, she brings some, a level of chaos, but, well... I won't look I will be lying if I say it didn't actually bring in a lot more people coming in though. I mean, it's what that one vendor once said. Treat it kindly and you'll be rewarded kindly. I mean, she never makes a day dull. Although <laughs> she does make uh, although she uh, she can be a bit of a handful when it comes to night. Why? Why does she like at night? <laughs> um, when nobody is around, she likes to um, she likes to party. Well, that must be interesting. I mean, it was so bad that Steve actually has to. Do she gives us. <laughs> yeah, no, that's also true too. I mean, just give the give the gremlins some um, some glow sticks. Well, not that. Steve um, reminded us that um, sometimes she would actually help us out in the end by giving up, by going into the moon for the moon cheese. Hmm, moon cheese. Interesting. I mean, it it works, you know. Hmm. Okay, so. I guess this looks pretty good for Bexoria, so we may have to do the final touches up when it comes to her line art, and then it's off to um, editing we go. Let's see, I guess Gremlin is a party animal. I mean, one day I will release a footage of her, what she actually does at every time at 3 in the morning when the inn is closed or something. Although, huh, you should thank the gods. I, I, do you think she actually invites any other people coming through? <laughs> okay, 
so let's try to work on her stripes on the snake and there okay I don't know if Exoria or Zola will ever see boss like this somewhere down the line, but um, I will say this though: when you uh, should the, um, Vexoria, Zola, or any VTubers who actually reach this far, um, if you're actually are looking forward to more of the story and it became a chaotic mess afterward, it, it, abruptly. I, I am so sorry. I truly am so, so sorry. What are you being sorry about, though? Well, I mean, this whole thing um kind of became chaotic when um the grandma was sudden what was suddenly sudden mid um mid storytelling, if you will. I mean, you are still welcome to carry on that story if you if you wish. Oh. Uh, okay, I actually intend to follow up where I could because, uh, trust me, it's, um, things eventually did got a little bit better. Um, okay, where was I when it comes to that? You were in the line and Vexoria and Zoltan were right there. And oh, you were right! Oh, fuck, yeah, right. <clears throat> okay, this is a continuation from that. I can only imagine the level of uh, the, the thoughts that's going through Victoria and Zolon's head when they see this one particular woman try to pace back and forth to calm herself down while she's trying not to freak the fuck out <clears throat> in the process. All the while, she's also waiting for um, her SO to actually come back as he's um, a, a, as he um, is getting um, something to actually help um, sign on, if you will. Hmm. And eventually, the um, Steve finally got back, and he, pr and it, which is where he actually brings for the um, the shaker cups that is for them to actually sign with. It's not ideal, but it's the close, it's the close and best enough, if you will. Hmm. So um, Steve is trying his best to actually help me to calm my giblets down. I am trying my best to calm down, but that's also failing in that part because eh! eventually um, the the line has fought the, the the line for the meet and greet has been open to the public, and as such, other people, um, other fans of Exoria started lighting up, and I was like, oh shit, oh fuck, it's t oh shit, oh fuck, it's time, oh shit. Ah, fuck, what do I do? And Steve is, um, trying to hold my hand, trying to assure me it's okay. And <coughs> since that we're basically the first one to go in line, to be in line, yeah, we're basically the first ones to, that they're going to actually have to sign. Oh, no. And, um, Steve... Help with the with the gentlest of gentle reassurances. Push me a little bit forward so I can actually get this whole thing over and done with. <laughs> and um, with Steve there, we, we were able to actually get them to um sign the shaker cups that we have. Whereas um I tried my best to um try my best to introduce myself as well as a. Uh, uh, as well as t telling them that I um, I adore their that I adore their work and I compliment we get to compliment Victoria's hair because she's um, going through key because she finally got through chemo and she and it's growing back and um, oh yeah I forgot that was been happening mm -hmm. and after the signing and after um, the friendly up. Uh, the, the small friendly interaction. I was uh, almost relieved, but I was also jittering in my uh, in my seat, if you will. It was then that Victoria actually offers, um, actually looks at me and said, "Do you want a hug?" And I was, um, Aww. And I was um almost jittering out again, but I just said in the most um smallest voice, "Yeah." 
Oh. And oh. mind you, the, and mind you, I was oh, I, I, I'm uh, bro. Again, my social anxiety is really bad, especially meeting a well, a well-known figure in the B-tubing community that is Victoria herself. I, I don't know. I also felt a sense of um, am I? I also felt a sense that I, I don't know if I'm worthy of this because it's. Mickey, Mickey, just to let you know, mm -hmm. you are worthy of it. And... You are very worthy of meeting an amazing person. And yes, it started out bumpy, but you got through it and you were able to interact with an amazing person and an amazing YouTuber in the community. And you were given a hug by them, which I don't think many people get an offer like that. Well, not usually. Not usually. And exactly. It was then that after it was then during that she actually um we actually got to hug and let me tell you that hug was basically the most nicest warmest hug that is basically the the actual go to mom hug if you will the one that actually um where they where they pull you in and tell you, hey, it's going to be okay. I never really felt that kind of safe and warm for God knows how long now. I mean, I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I said I, I, I was able to hold on to my own mom, but, but when she came back to when she came to visit me in Texas about um, back in December, alongside with my family, but. This is kind of something else. And she actually reassures me a little bit more by just um, gently saying to my uh, to my ear that, well, in her own words, you are beautiful, if you will. Oh. I know, I'm, I... I'm feeling so, I'm feeling so giddy and happy for you. Like, oh. So yeah. <laughs> I actually, um, I actually was happy for that, too. And I got to at least calm down a little bit more, but, yeah. It just made me, um, realize a little bit more that, I, um, outside of that V, uh, outside of that beautiful VTuber model that she's well known for, she actually really is a good person. Or at least, you know... She is a person. Everyone is human behind whatever they got. Yeah. And so yeah, I finally uh, we finally left the uh, um the booth just so we can actually get ourselves ready for the uh, for Melissa's digital booth, if you will. And if there's anything we did learn though from the shaker cups that we got, is that um. Is that uh, we kind of learned that the Shaker Cubs do not make the best when it comes to autographs and signings because mm -hmm. the yeah. surface of that cups is so um, it can be glossy, yeah. but over time the, the the markers will start to to basically fade. So Steve and I are yeah. trying our best to scramble on how we're gonna actually make that um, the the signatures actually stick. The autographs actually stick yeah. because yeah. it's not fun when it's actually when you're one proof that you've met this person is smudged away. Yeah, like it kind of makes me kind of regret what I tried to do and didn't take the action to do it. Boy, well, this we we kind of did also leave me at some levels of regret when um the more we actually stayed there. And that's a story I'm willing to share a little bit more. But continue. Uh, it, it was more the fact that um, this is when I was at Comic-Con, like, back in October. Um, I did not know that there were separate tickets to get stuff being signed there. Yeah? And because I did not know, I was, unfo I was unfortunately not able to meet Matthew Mercer. And I have his book for Tal Dory Reborn. I wanted to get that signed. 
But I wasn't able to meet him, so I was like, oh. Yeah. So. I, oh, I know. It just. It breaks my heart, <laughs> really. Because I wanted, I wanted to meet a person which I idolize as both a voice actor and a DM. Oh goodness heaven, heaven. I am so sorry! Okay. Uh, uh, I mean uh, It's spring, isn't it, correct? I mean, yeah, but this is the warmest spring I've ever felt so far. And I am not looking forward to summer. Like, bruh, I just checked the app for the weather! Because I am making a temperature blanket, mind you, for this year. Today's oh, yeah. temperature so far is 92! Ah! Oh, God, Texas, why? I'm now looking forward to summer! That is the domain of the 90s and the 100s! I got Well, we know that could get worse. Ugh. Ah! Uh. Oh, Mother Teresa's armpit. This is not going to be. Things are truly are getting warmer. Remember, kids, make sure you stay in. Make sure you are hydrated and stay cool for, for summer. It's not going to be pleasant from here. <laughs> but yes, it is spring. Ugh, that sucks. Indeed. Oh boy. But yeah, I'm sure that there will come a day you will meet Matthew Mercer again. I I pro it, I, I will reassure yeah. you that. Cause that's what the really annoying part is, because this was one of the few times he made it to London. Mm. Well, so it's so hard for me to actually Well find it like you real it's not like i can try and go out there you know that's understandable <clears throat> uh, um where is it actually i have it in here somewhere okay so has grillman been summoned yet she has but she went back into her hole and um she's currently frog hunting which I am not really looking forward to that, you know? <laughs> Who is it? Hmm? Wait a minute. I just... I just... Hold on. I just had a bit of a thought. Is Victoria's hair also match the color of her tail? Yeah, it does. In that... But, okay, by that logic, that okay. should also um, be that... Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, it's one of those. It's okay. Okay, there we go. No, never mind. I got it. I got it. Okay, there we go. Mm. Why is she hunting frogs? Well, maybe it's because Gremlin likes to eat frogs every now and then. I also find yeah, that part I... gross. <laughs> I also think that it's not good for her health. Even for Faye, frog hunting is a very questionable thing specifically with the neuro specifically with the toxins that they produce i don't know gremlin is built different ah fair point and it's not like you can <laughs> i feel like for like a normal person when you do that it just makes you see things but i think for, i think for the gremlin i think it's just tasty have you eaten frogs no i have not actually Damn. Like, I, hmm, I wouldn't say it's on my list of animals I wish to consume. Uh, okay. okay. But I will say one of them is monkfish. Monkfish? Yeah. Okay, elaborate. Okay, um, do you want to see the image of a monkfish first? Maybe it helps refresh my memory, yeah. Okay. 
Grabbing the fish right now. Like, they are a... From what I remember, they are a bottom... They are a little bit of a... Um, here it is. I have the feeling that once it's finally his turn, Zolan's plushie is going to be the most easiest plushie to ever done for this stream. And I think I welcome it because I need a change of pace. Because, um... um I'm not throwing shade to VTubers. I mean... When you're in a, when you are in an industry such as this, you gotta find some way to actually help stand you out, if you will. Yeah. Like you have the gremlin. Well, gremlin is more of a mascot than an a, than an oh. actual VTuber, but yes. Also, yeah, um, I just posted them in TV chat too. Okay, let me take a good look at this. Okay. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Okay! That's a flat bastard! Yeah, but these things are incredibly delicious. They ah! make a lot... They have a lot of beneficial stuff to them. What? They're low... <laughs> they have a very mild, sweet flavor, and they actually make a, a lot of really good recipes. Like... Zero Langan style monkfish curry. I... Poor man lobster. Huh? I don't know if I want to touch it though. Yeah, it looks it's... menacing. Then there's Catlian mon monkfish. A uh, what? What? Like they make really good re they make really good recipes. No, I, no, I, I, yeah. I think, incredibly delicious. I, you know what, maybe it's best if I actually share this to chat so that way they would actually have an idea what we're talking about. That chat, like, that, that's a monkfish, that's, that. It's the, incredibly delicious. It They're looks, really good. They're, they're massive, but looks, everything nice. on that except, everything except the eyes is edible. Like all the I fat for that. Chief, that, that, that's a fish that you use as a weapon, you know? Although monkfish prep is incredibly um, tough to do. Ah! Like, you have to fillet and slice the thing carefully, but there's also one place where they actually cut it while it's hanging. Uh, I think we killed Ice Drake with cringe because of the monkfish that is on the screen. I regret nothing. <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? I'm a guy who likes the culture. I like to eat very interesting foods. I'm a foodie. <laughs> I mean, yeah, based because I'm also um, a foodie too. In fact, that I is mean, that that is how Banks and I actually kind of uh, uh, kind of became good friends. We like to talk up. The moment he um, talks about food that is um, in the town that they, they that they live, it makes me even more and more enticed to explore the place a little bit more. Hey, listen. Exactly. Yes, Lord I... Bluff. Let's see. I saw the Chesa Chesa Chesapeake Bay Fish Market where uh, when lived in Maryland. Also, you would see the find you would you would find what weirder a blobfish. Yep. Love fish. They are an anomaly to me. How is it that they exist in our planet? I'll never know. Oh, um, the reason why they look <coughs> so terrible when you bring them up is because pressure is not so tight down there, so it loses all of its um, like all the skin kind of like loosens. Ah. Because why it looks so bad? Like typically, a blobfish looks more like this. Typically. Yeah. Um, let me grab the references. I'm scared. Actually, don't be. They're actually pretty interesting looking. This is what a blob search should look like. Alright, I kind of need to take this to color her tail. Like, because of it being rapidly, like, pulled up, 
the pressure is affecting it with tissue damage. Which gives them its very gelatinous looking nature. Is that a blobfish or is that still the same monk? Fish? That's a blobfish at its appropriate level. That's at like 3,000 feet where what? it should be. Yeah. The reason why they look like big, massive blobs is because of extreme tissue damage of when fishermen drag them up. Hmm. Uh, Alex asked that's a good question. Um. By the way, Shad's Afton Mickey, what's your favorite kind of cookies? My favorite I mean, kind of cookies? Uh-huh. I guess anything with white chocolate in them? Mine is oh. chocolate chip and um shortbread cookies. Especially oh, if you, you know have what I like, you know what I like? Hmm? I like the ones that have chocolate baked into them. Ooh, yes. Oh. I can do it. If you were to um, make me any of those with white chocolate in them, I I'll, I would be in right. But about one that is mixed with dark chocolate and White chocolate. Oh, I mean, I like dark chocolate as well. So, um, but I would say a favorite of mine is salted caramel. You know, when I was back in the Philippines, my favorite is um my favorite um cookie shop is called uh the Cookie Corner, if you will. And one thing I would love to, um to have in their inventory is the um. Is the good old is a good old shortbread cookie, but it has one side um dipped in chocolate. And the moment I ate that, I was oh, I, it is immaculate in my mouth. Mm. I would love to actually have that again. But mac, but, but cookies with macadamia nut is also my favorite. What about those with hazelnuts, then? I actually never tried them with hazelnut. You never tried hazelnuts? No! <coughs> hazelnuts are nice. They taste really good. Huh. Okay, I'm almost done with Vixoria. Just almost there. I'm... Oh, she's done after how long? Approximately, um, like, looking at the time, like an hour. Okay, um, okay, I am most likely going to fit, do the rest of the rendering offline, if you will, because this type of plushie is going to require some level of attunement and finding, just like what we did when it comes to birdie. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. We're going to Victoria the Sun Eater. There we go. So to signify that it just needs more tuning. But we did it. We finally did Victoria's plushie, and it's it actually turned out pretty good. Now the next one, Zolon's plushie. And I welcome it. I absolutely welcome it after what we had to go through the previous two plushies. Wait, I'm, who's going on again? I I'm gonna make them. I, I'm gonna do them. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a, a plushie that's gonna take no less than t um, 30 minutes to finish, okay? Because I, I'm gonna do the most simplified plushie I've ever done <laughs> in this stream. Okay, you ready? You ready? Okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's that's Victoria's husband, Zola, Zola the cultist. He looks like a. He kind of looks like when you just you're roleplaying as a dungeon master, but all you have is just your like your very comfy um blanket blanket hoodie. I am going to. Uh, you know what? I well, um, I welcome this. Are you ready? So I must hop off for now. All right, you take care. Enjoy the plushies. Thank you! Wait, this is not in black? Okay. I'm going to have the most simplest, easiest, well, uh, quickest way to finish the plushie. I... This is going to be so goddamn easy. This is uh, for sure. Mm, gotcha. 
Ooh, also, yeah. have you heard the news? Hmm? The Underworld Saga. Uh... Epic. Huh? Epic the musical? Oh! They're releasing the Underworld Saga. Oh! Oh! They, they finally did? It's being released on the 26th. Oh, I actually, I love the Underworld Saga so much because of, well, literally the first, li all the songs I love. I love all the songs for it. Uh, I definitely need to listen up to Epic in its all entirety for the music track. And, oh, thanks for the hydrate. Let me go um, and do that. You're still on the um, Poseidon one, aren't you? You're still on Storm. Okay. Oh. I only listened to no. a couple of um, tracks from the uh, from the, um, the musical. Yeah, like we got um, of course the normal epic saga on its own. Then we got the Cyclops saga. Then it was just a storm. And then Xerxes was released two months ago. And now Underworld. <sighs> okay, there we go. That's um. That's just good. Okay, I do not. I, I, um, this is going to be so easy to do for his face. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. All right. You ready? <laughs> Just me. Me. No, no, a little bit. Okay. Let's just, um. Okay. This is so, this is just going to be the most easiest, simplified, most the welcoming plushie to ever be done in this stream. Okay. Okay, this is so. This is so. This is so. He so, looks so cute and dopey. He's like, I'm coming for you all! This is just so st This is just beautiful. This is just brilliant. This is so brilliant. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I need to concentrate now. Otherwise, I'll, I will be here all day. Nah, this one's the simplest one. You got this. Yep. Oh, and I welcome it. Okay. No need for ears for this. Where we're going, we don't need ears. This is so. This is. This is so. This is the most simplified plushie I've ever designed for this tree. <laughs> okay. 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 I. Next, just like the original. Okay, and we're going to merge that. And we're just going to easily color this. I tell you, this is. Did I ever tell you this is my what, this is my favorite plushie so far? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so, makes sense why you like it so much. <laughs> just, okay, okay, and. Right there, right there, right there, th that too, and we're going to get these oh, as cool. well, and there we go, there we go, there's the one, he is absolutely, <laughs> he is, okay, he's my favorite plushie, he really is my favorite plushie to do, okay. Now that one is pretty much done. No one wants so on bus. Okay. Okay. Zola. And that is now in green because he's, yeah, he's just about done. He's finally done. Okay, just like that. Okay. We have done three so far? We have only done yep. three so far. Okay. 
Who may be next on the list? Okay. He's coming for our chocolates? I don't know! Okay. The next Please. one in my oh. list is... Let me just briefly, um... Come on. Let it be the bad. Let it be the caco demon. Ah! <laughs> okay. Our next one in our list is Eldritch Grandpa. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. This, uh... This might be a little bit of a... This might be a bit of a doozy, but... I can make this work. And and Doozy not not and um I what I I did okay, Doozy's not the right word. I think this might be um this might be a slight this might be a slight challenge, but I welcome it. It's just that I need to make sure the face is just about right when it comes to the model. <coughs> but yeah. Elbridge Grandpa is another person who I actually did encounter into um, in, into the con er, earlier uh, uh, earlier this month. When you know, when it comes to having friend, when it comes the benefit of being with Banks and Bur and Birdism during that con, it helps um, it helps us f meet the other VTubers much easier than how it was when it comes to just me and Steve on our person because when you're in a place that is um a con itself and when you're in a place that's like um the con itself um it can be a little bit difficult to find the other um other VTubers there because they're going as their own person yeah. Like. Hmm. And for some people, you can kind of. T best way you can kind of tell is through voice. Or if they've shown themselves, like, on Twitter or social media and such. This but. Is, this is true. Yeah. But sometimes when you actually meet the person behind the VTuber, you're like, wait. That's what you look like? <laughs> okay. Now, like, the model has Kraus. I can't tell if that's Kraus feet right over the. Uh, yeah, it is Kraus feet. Kraus? Kraus feet? It's a type of wrinkle that is on the side of your eyes. Or, um, that. Because the eyes are pretty much has the less skin um, in your face. It's the first thing to actually um, show signs of aging as you get older. And what age is that to be precise? <laughs> um, it varies. Some say it'll be around the th um in the thirties, if not forties. Okay, I'm only just checking. <laughs> but um. Hmm. But yeah. And I and it is a good thing that um I, I will um that we get to tag along with Banks and Birdie. It helped us um meet up with the other VTubers that were there, especially one of them is act is Eldritch Grandpa th themselves. And just like their avatar, they were actually wearing a um they were actually wearing the uh the the, the hat, the suspenders, the polo shirt, yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, that actually helps make um, how does realize? Hey, it's Gr Eldritch Grandpa themselves. Yeah. So, we were actually fortunate, and uh, we were actually get be able to meet with each other, and that he actually turns out to be a really swell dude. Yeah. And uh, although I can't help but uh, actually um show a pinch of concern because um they also were um uh, it, they were they had they used a cane to help him move, move around when it comes to the con and sometimes when we're um when we sit down to take a break when especially since we have to wait for um our food wait for our line for the food in the food truck i can't help but wonder if I can't help but look 
um, in the corner where Eldritch Grandpa was resting up and wonder if, if they're doing well when it comes to their leg. I know, I, I don't, cause, you know, I do show a sense of care. Yeah. Okay, so, I just hope I actually got the nose right because it's not often do I actually draw elderly characters, if you will. The, maybe this, uh, the, and I consider this as a good thing because I do need to practice on drawing characters in, um, in different, in, in different, um, in, in different facial features as well as, um, different age ranges, if you will. Because not... Um, when you're a character designer, especially if you want to um, make characters for your stories, if you will, um, you're going to have to learn how to practice drawing people from different ages, if you will. And I'm hoping I'm doing that um, justice right here. Okay, so... So, let's see. Anyone familiar with The Great Gatsby of Mice and Men? You know, for, uh... Yes. You know, their movie adaptations? I am familiar with Of Mice and Men because my dad, um... has, uh, um, has this one, um, kind of uh, tradition that whenever he comes home from the Philippines, he would always bring home um, VHS upon VHS collections of movies and TV shows that he recorded, and one of them was the nineteen was the old nineteen fifties sixties uh no nineteen um fifties if not forties rendition of of mice and men, the one that's um the black and white movie instead of the colored. Uh, instead of the colored version because they are different adaptations but yeah I am familiar of the movie of, of Mice and Men and oh man that movie is that movie is something else mm-hmm I, I, I take that you're also familiar with it too, Afton? I'm familiar with the books and the movie. Ah, so even you too. That huh? was what I had to learn that was what I had to learn for secondary. Yeah. <laughs> it really is something. It truly really is something. Like it's not really it, it's it's going to be a movie that would test you because it is still a movie that has its own um, bleak thoughts, uh, bleak um, themes in there that um, can be a, uh, can also ring true to reality. I don't know. Yeah, I also kind of see it as, in some cases as a mo as themes of morality as well, especially for those times as well. Mm hmm. Okay. I me... mean, I've never actually watched The Great Gatsby. Never That's ever? Else. Well, I've seen renditions and references to it, but I've never watched the movie. Because I... probably I've never had the chance to it. Um, if it makes you feel any better, I also haven't seen The Great Gatsby either. Well, the movie and the book too, as is, because, um... Maybe it's because I didn't actually find time for it, but I really wanted to, though. Mm -hmm. But I will say this, though. Um, the movie that has the Leonardo DiCaprio uh, on it is actually the um, best um, movie adaptation that ever were to exist of the book. Because... There has been multiple adaptations of it in the past, but um, some of them are pretty much hit and miss. Mm. 
Okay, hold on a second. I need to, um... You know, I think I, this one's looking pretty good so far. Okay, I just need to heighten up his ears. But I hope that um, Eldritch Grandpa also had a good time when it comes to um, when it comes to WeebCon too, because they're actually busy doing their own thing in in WeebCon, and that's okay because. Um, uh, Steve and I were basically doing our own thing too, and we also like to hang out with friends that we've actually gotten close to at the time, i.e. Banks and Birdie, because we finally met them and we actually learned we clicked more with them, if you will. Ugh. But I will say this. I actually do enjoy my time getting to meet Eldritch Grandpa in person. Especially since Eldritch Grandpa um, has this thing where he brought in markers um, in their person. And he actually allows people to sign his hat. Which um, Steve and I actually got to alongside with Banks and Birdie. And alongside with other VTubers that we got to meet during the con there. And... They also gave us, um, uh, they also gave us to, um, bead bracelets that they've also made. One of them is, uh, and I actually got two from, um, Eldritch Grandpa. One of them that says hydrate, the other one is, um, is I'm fine, based on that one dog, uh, based on that one iconic meme. Um, mm -hmm. no, wait. Not I'm fine. Um, this is fine. Yeah, that that's the one. This is fine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start to make the details here. Despite that I'm a fan of mainly cartoons in it, I like them a lot. I'm also a fan of some British pop culture such as Sherlock Holmes, James Bond, and Alex Ryder. Oh, I can say that stuff like Sherlock Holmes, like, have you seen the one that was done by Robert Downey Jr.? Um, I haven't yet, but that's something I should def- I, I definitely should find time to do. I- I can say it's really good, I liked it. Yeah? Cause, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. as Sherlock is really interesting to me. I mean- I mean, he, the movie did give us an iconic meme that is to, for the ages. Discombobulate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... But the one thing I like about that is that, well... There's a lot of interesting concepts of, like, how, inter how they interact with Watson as well. Yeah? Like... In, like, Watson is very human, and that's what I like about it. And then the Sherlock, who is essentially, and I quote this, he is that friend. <laughs> he is that friend that you do not know what they're thinking, but you know exactly what's gonna go down. <laughs> okay, maybe that's something I definitely should find time to. F f actually, would find time to do. Exactly. Although, I feel sorry for his dog. Huh? Okay, essentially, there's a little bit of a funny joke that Sherlock will use Watson's dog as a test subject for things. What?! Don't worry, the dog's fine. Ah, huh, okay. The dog's fine, it's just... Just how he ends up situation-wise, it's just like... What's the always keeps thinking? Did you kill my dog? And he's like, oh, don't worry, he's gone through worse. <laughs> Which he has. Okay. Well, I'm glad that's the case. Otherwise, you know. Okay. Although, oh yeah, Benedict Candlebatch is always a great person as well. 
Although, hmm. I've actually never heard of Alex Ryder. That's actually, like, as a British person, I've never seen or heard of Alex Ryder. No? <laughs> nope. Probably because, well, I'm still young. <laughs> oh, yeah. The baby. You're, I forgot you're still a baby man. I am not a baby. <laughs> I, I am mean... not. A... <sighs> I mean, I've been called. Me like, I have many names at this point. Okay. The youngest. Emergency rations. Venison. <laughs> But Baby Man is the one thing that you, um... The one you kind of detest the most? <coughs> Makes sense. Oh, okay. Alright, um, let's see. I'm almost done doing the cleanups here. And... Good lord, this is the easiest... Pl this is another easy plushie to do, but... And I... But you know what? I welcome it. I think I favor VTubers that have a little bit on easier designs for me to actually draw because it's easier for me to, you know, get them out of the way in bunch. I don't know if that's the right word, but... Eh. I mean... Wait till you get to heavenly. Oh. Okay. I mean, he is not far off. I still got a couple more people that I still need to draw, and then it's heavenly's turn. <laughs> yeah, I I really like heavenly. He's such a he's such an absolute. He's a mad lad. I mean. What? I got a story that I can't wait to share when it co when it comes to Heavenly later down the line, so that's something yeah. for you guys to um to actually can't wait to see either. Okay, so that that I can agree. Okay, mm -hmm. I guess Eldritch Grandpa is just about done in that in that. So let's go ahead and um. Wait, you forgot something. Yeah, his eyes. No, the pen. Oh! Oh! Snapdragons! You're right! Okay. Well, I'm snapping. Uh, I'm changing the ruler to there. First things first. I, I noticed that feature and I'm like, hmm, something's off. The pen. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. And I gotta be. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. He's You're coming welcome. back to MC. What? He's coming back to MCU? But. Didn't I he thought like, he retired. I thought he retired from it. Like, they, there's a reason they killed off his character. You know? Why Aww. is he coming back? What? Like, boo. Boo. Unless, boo. of course, they're dealing with, um. His character in a flashback segment? Because that's the I only thing that could it isn't make sense. Sequel or anything like that. As in for a new Iron Man? But, but. I'm hoping not for a new one. Oh, come on! Oh, hold on a second. Let me just, uh. Fix up his um, wrinkles over here. There we go. Um, oh, um, something I was actually been wanting to ask for quite some time because I know you now have access to it. Was that? How's Heliana's guide? I've yet to read the rest of the book, but it's now situated right into my other D and D module books over there. But you have other D and D modules. Yeah, I mean, I I like to do my little fa my, my own little collecting, if you will. Why not? I mean, fair point. I've got like, I got like a decent sized collection. All I have is just stuff for character creations, and then there's just okay. Wild Mountain, Eberron, and Exandria. <laughs> Let me stretch. Thanks for the care package, honey. 
But has there been anything in that that has been of interest to you? Mm, not yet so far. I've yet to do a full read. Maybe that's something I should have done when I was still in the ranch. I mean, I highly recommend it. I love it to bits. Okay. I really want to get a game going with it. So badly. Well, I've done games, but I really want to do a game for in here. And I'm playing um, one of them right now in my Wednesday game. Hold on a second. Let me just adjust um, his eyes just a wee bit. There you go. And now let's go ahead and start dealing with um, the colors. Um, the eyes. Uh. The eyes are the window of the soul, after all. Um, hmm, there's actually something... Oh, yeah! Hmm. Huh? I forget that you have Gwendolyn, don't you? You mean Gwen, um... Gwen, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> I actually forgot... I actually just remember... I remember that when we were, like, when you got the book. And I was like, hmm. Like... If you are, if you are wanting to know, like, they do like having art of stuff made from Heliana's Guide. Really? Yeah, I'm on their server. I talk to them all the time. Huh. Yeah, they love people having art in their server. I, I'm pretty sure I'm the most prolific one there. Well, I comment. guess I could actually give that one a go, I guess? Okay. Yeah, you... I mean, I don't think they've had anyone do a Harvest Paladin yet. No? No. Huh. You'd think that there would be some people who'd actually done that by now. Um, we've seen tamers, we've seen people do like the actual races themselves, but when it comes to specific classes, no, there hasn't been not many people doing so doing that. Huh. And uh, they actually asked like they they know the stuff that I do. And I'm pretty, at one point, they actually asked me, Hey, can you ask Hero Forge for some racing assets? And I'm like, You think I could do that? Okay. <laughs> like, that, that, that really shocked me when they did that. That's but they really like getting art done. Um, the thing about them is that, um, like, if you're okay with me speaking about it. Um, I mean. You, you have the floor for a bit, as I'm yeah. still drawing to... Because I'm currently trying to concentrate on... Oh, god dang it. Bots? Here? Oh, no. Um, oh, god. There's oh. two of them. Oh, crap, baskets. Oh, shit. Okay. No, 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 no. Get... Um, shit, 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 Okay, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, crap, baskets. I would get them if I could. Um, no, 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 um, no, no. Okay, um, how do I ban this thing again? Um, you go into the view and then there should be a method on there where you can just ban it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I'm back. Hello, Jay. Hello. I I have returned from being stuck in the bathroom. You Are did? you okay, man? I'm good. Just uh, had a little bit of constipation. Oh, sucks. Yep, that's uh, that's my life. Well, I hope you're gonna be okay, though. Meanwhile, um. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh. I, I, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Uh, I wish I actually... <clears throat> wish you actually what? You... You doing okay? Um... A couple of pests are here in the end. Pests? Like... Like rodents? Clankers. Clankers. Oh! Oh! Ah, darn it. If I was a mod, I'd take care of it. Same here. Dang it. I see them right on the car. Ah, uh, okay. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Afton. I may speak mouthful, but I don't understand it. Sorry, um, I would tell, basically. Oh, that's how you... Oh, that's how you ban it. I was... I was wondering if... Hmm. Okay. I had to deal with a bit of a bot infestation in the, uh, in the theater as well. Yeah, you had... You had some problems. Yeah, they keep... They're everywhere. It's, it's really frustrating. I know! And they won't go away! I don't know! Ugh! Okay, so hold on a second. Um. Also, I just looked at the TV chat and sweet Christmas! What is that? Monkfish? That's a monkfish. Wow. Chat, uh, okay, chat, hang on. I'm trying to. Mm. Delicious. Like, you would think something that ugly would taste bad, but no. It is a delicacy. Really? Well, it's pretty rare for me to find it here. Hmm, where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Um, I found the messages. I found a way to ban them. I, I need new mod. I definitely need mods. I definitely need uh, more mods because one you is and not me enough. Both. One is not yeah, like, enough. I and because Dave is not here, so crap, yeah, that's you're gonna have to get someone else to help you out with that. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 would, I definitely should. I mean, <laughs> I would say maybe you should make dependent on the activity of the people who are in the voice call and are also on the stream as well. Yeah. Oh, wait. Um, let's bring that back in. Um, maybe that's something I should definitely start advertising. That I am definitely in need to find bots for, um, not, not bots. I definitely bots. need, um, uh, I am in need for looking for mods for my team because eh, I can only do so much. I mean, Same. I mean, I've I got can... zero mods, so. I have some moderator experience, but not on Twitch, on Discord. Oh, That's um, it. Miki, there might be an easier way to do that. Yeah? Um, if you look at your gradient tool, there's actually a rainbow gradient right there. That you can just use. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I am not very bright. I'm just trying to save you some trouble. Thank you. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, yeah, that's that. that I should have followed my own philosophy. I, I did not do that. I did not even do that. Uh, it. it <laughs> you forget you saw this. No, I'm going to remember, and I'm going to laugh about it. No! <laughs> <laughs> Goober! 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 I'm out of here. I I am I'm I am going to leave. I am not coming back. I feel like we need to add that to the soundboard, don't you agree, Jay? I'm sorry, I could not understand a word of that, Afton. Oh, I was saying, I feel like we need to add like me and you screaming goober into the soundboard. Uh, okay. <laughs> we need, we need to. Hey, Catman. Hey, Cat. <sighs> I am just a um. How are you, Cat? <laughs> Why? I was just greeting my friend. But Max, how are you? Catman, how are you? 
you. Okay, I'm almost done with designing. Um. Hey, Dave. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> hey, Dave. Uh -oh. I just sat down. How are you? <laughs> we just have to deal with bots. Oh, yeah. fine. I'm sorry I was not uh, around. It's okay. Nah, you're good. I'm doing good. That's good. Oh, thanks. Before I forget, um, now that I finally finished doing Eldritch Grandpa's plushie, which... Wait, no. I'm not really done doing Gra oh, Eldritch Grandpa's plushie. There's still other Oh, details. is that who this is? Yeah. Um, but before I... have to I say, actually... I never heard of him. It's another VTuber that um is all that I actually got to meet during WeebCon, and they're actually a very chill person. Let me go and make this real fast and loose before I actually uh, would showcase this. Bang! So I'm gonna so I'm gonna say this with with uh, no offense whatsoever to the to Eldritch Grandpa. Uh, that design looks like someone who works at Walmart for a little too long. Uh, well, but thanks. I mean, look at this. It's why you never, never mess with a person who's been in the field too long. But thanks. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I finally designed her. She's fine. She still needs some. Ki she still needs some um, tweaks, uh, um, tweaks and refinement post stream. But I managed to make the the, the base design. Say my regards. Tell Brandy that it actually turned out well. But, yeah. <laughs> Banks, is, Banks is really loving this. I'm glad that it's... I'm glad the reception is very positive. So, let's make a recap. I mean, I have a feeling you could Banks on it. <laughs> Oh, let me just stretch real fast. Ha! <laughs> ah, okay, that's a little better. <coughs> okay, let me just um do the final details onto Eldritch Grandpa's um avatar, and then next thing you know, we're gonna work on another. Fr uh, we're gonna work on another VTuber that I met during our time there in WeebCon. And I have a feeling that her the avatar- one that was smaller than you? Hmm? The one that was smaller than you? Yeah! Wow! A VTuber smaller than Miki? Hmm. Wait, how tall is Miki again? Like- She is five, five foot one. one! She is five yeah, foot one! The exact same height as Super Mario! No! No! Ah. No! <laughs> No. That's his canonical height! No. <laughs> I, ref <laughs> I refuse to believe... I refuse to believe that Italian Madlet is the same height as me! I refuse <laughs> to believe! Well, that begs the question, is it Mario or Super Mario's canonical height? Because if it's Super Mario's... Oh, no, it, is, it is Mario's canonical height. <laughs> in, in other words, he's taller if he eats the mushroom. He is taller if he eats the mushroom, yes. Well, it depends on the game. Because small Mario exists. That's like no. his depowered form. No. no. Wouldn't that be his normal form then? No. And yes, but also no. Because, cause like, um, in, the, in the OG games on the NES and Super NES, small Mario was in fact his default state. But at some point in time... Uh, Come around the uh, new Super Mario Bros. era, Super Mario ended up being the default instead of the other way around. Ah, makes sense. But yes, now mm. we need to draw Miki as a as a Mario no. cover. N yes. No. No. Yes. No. No. Miki, you would look great in overalls, though. No. Stay no. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, okay. Please. Oh, Mickey, Mickey, I think Mickey, the, I think the close. Miki, why don't we make this easier for you? All in favor say I! I! What? No! Don't! Chad! Don't you dare! When you reach this part! I think the closest you'll get to a compromise will be drawing Mickey as a Mario princess. Agreed. Oh no. 
That's right. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. oh, no. Chat, no. You're, chat, you're chat, chat, no, chat, no, please. Chat, no, chat, no, chat, no, chat, no, There you go, your opportunity and your material. Go for it. Why is this a thing? How dare? Why? Also, apologies if I sound tired and or irritated. I just got off work. Fair enough. That's it. Are you going to be okay, though, honey? Well, I did post a picture of post-work me in the TV chat. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'll be okay once I get some rest. Okay. Yeah, also, rent has been paid, and I talked to Kyle about the AC, and we may have an idea of what's going on, but hopefully someone, they'll get someone we know to take a look at it soon. Um, right. Okay, but I hope it does turn out pretty well, you know, that it can be fixed. Yeah. Okay, now who is the next one in our list? Uh, all right! I don't, it's her turn then. I got mm -hmm. good old Chi Chi I. Chi Chi! Jeez. Okay, oh, I am back. Welcome what back. What a miss. I'm about to start working on the next um, VTuber. Oh, Chi Chi! I love her work! Yeah, I know, right? Like, oh, she's oh. a fantastic actress. Wait, she does acting now? A little, well, voice acting. She does some voice acting. Ah, hmm. Like, I've only seen her songs. I'm not sure if I've seen any of her acting. Uh, hold on. Oh, let yeah. me, let me pull up her YouTube. Yeah, like, I, <sighs> let me get, let me get it up again. Uh, YouTuber... Well, I know she's here somewhere. Okay. Ah, there she is! Lop, lop into the DMs, please. Um, let's see. I know she's got a voice demo somewhere. Or am I... Or am I thinking of someone else? Hmm. I mean, Chi Chi is the one that does really good singing. Um, huh. I'm trying to remember her... Song. Oh, she's a fantastic singer. There's, there's no doubt about that. I love her work. In fact, uh, one of my favorite uh, songs from her... Is her lyrical ad adaptation of Friends from Sonic Mania? Oh, I don't think I've heard of that one. Ooh, it's good. Hold on, let me let me send this to you. Well, I I know what I'm gonna be listening to this evening. Yeah, I'll just share in the TV chat. Gotcha. You're, you were saying, honey? Uh, I mostly just hopped in, wanted to check up on you, and two to let you know I'm on my way. Okay. Um. Do you still want me to make some spaghetti for dinner? I may have to order some um, ingredients from the store because it doesn't seem like we have them here in our house. Okay, if that's what you gotta do. Oh no, I was thinking of someone else. I was thinking of Emu Emmy. My bad. <laughs> You're good. Uh, like, it's been ages since I've heard anything from Chi Chi. Like, her stuff, her collab work is really good. Oh yeah, she's fabulous. Yes? I guess I'm just tired. Okay. Take the time you need to rest, dude. Yeah. Have a good rest, mate. Mm. Like, you need a little okay. one. I'm just working a little bit on... on art for the campaign tonight. Ooh, campaign stuff. I will do my best to not, and part of me for saying so, I will do my best not to sound like a half dead bitch. Right. Well, this is the place to say it, so. Hold on a second. Um. 
I think I'm, uh, maybe it's because uh, um, I've been on this program for a while and we've been streaming for a while on this, but it's slightly starting to affect how I, um, okay, it's stabilizing, sort of. I mean, you also haven't done the Pals of Plushies in like five months. Yeah. Oh, question, how, question, how many folders are in your canvas? Um, lots. So here's the thing, your co your program is actually loading all of them at once, even though they're, it's not visible. Yeah? So it's basically taking up a lot of RAM. Mm. You might want to oh. open a new canvas soon. Uh, is it, is it really that bad? Listen, if it's anything like mine... All I'm saying is your computer's RAM might be crying right now. Uh, like... That's how my laptop feels every time I play Helldivers. <laughs> There's not a lot of RAM left on this thing. Okay, I'm back with mac and cheese. Oh, that's good. Huh. Oh, I'd oh love, man. I'd love some I... mac and cheese. Okay, question. Yeah? Do you have the mac and cheese straight or do you put stuff in it? Um, sometimes I would put stuff in my mac and cheese. Because, let me tell you right now, chopped onions, garlic, diced tomato, mmm, amazing combination. Mmm, nice and sounds really good. And let me tell you, it makes the most divine smell. Gotcha. Mm. Oh. I guess I'll have to give her a close smile this time around, just for, um, just for simplicity. Uh, no, okay, Chi Chi, um, I'm also trying my best to make sure it's just on right onto the model itself, because, don't get me wrong, she is, um, at, don't get me wrong. I, I actually, okay, my brain cannot even at the moment. When I actually got to meet Chi Chi I in person, it took me a while to recognize it was her, but the, the, it was her um, thanks to having Banks with us in that person. But upon realizing that it was her because she's um, dressed casually, it made, I, I actually got a good look and I just realized, holy Moses, she is shorter than me. <laughs> like my goodness, she's, she's really that short. <laughs> How much shorter are we talking? Um, That's a good question. A few inches. By a, by oh a my few goodness, inches? she's the under five foot club. She's in the under five feet club. <laughs> it's like I'm seeing um somebody who is almost the same height as my sister, but a little bit, but just an inch shorter. Wait, your sister's also short? Yeah! She's like 4'11! Damn. Or was she 4'10? My, it's been my a goodness! <laughs> like. Uh... But she actually is the but she actually is a sweet person when I uh, when we actually did introductions. Um uh, she gave me her sticker, um, she gave me a sticker that she has with her person, and I actually um got to hug Chi Chi when it, when the, uh, when the offer is there. Aww. Aww. Yeah. So many hugs. We do love hugs. Indeed. Yes. I just hope that she actually had a good um a good time in Weebcon though, because ever since i learned from what happened to victoria during um uh, during her time with uwu land it made me a little bit more it made me question a little bit more on did the other people uh, uh other vtubers that i know and met also had a good time there in in uwu also had a t time a good time there in weebcon because i know um because i know for sure that the traffic to... I mean, the parking traffic is a bit atrocious when Steve and I got there. Yeesh. Yee. 
Yeah, it always is at conventions. Okay, so let's try to stretch a little bit. Okay. Ain't no fun when you're under five foot one. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, having a sister who is like four ten, um, I too can also see her struggles when it comes to um her height. Okay, so let's try to make her hair this long, and we're gonna go ahead and... Hmm... I'm trying to rock my brain how am I going to make this work for her headbands, uh, for her ear, here, um, her headphones, but I can make this work. No? Uh, no. I mean, it looks like her earphones go over her ears, so... True. That's a plus. It is a beneficial plus. One which I'm going to... Adjust a little bit. She really has a simplified design, which I openly welcome because... The previous two, Mina, Zolan, um... Hey! Took a while for us to finish. Yes, Banks, it is Chi Chi. And oh, Tommy, hi! Welcome back! Welcome back! <coughs> Maybe you should point Chi Chi in this direction. Well, I did um tag the people who I'm going to be drawing for um today. It's only it, it's on their call to actually would come by and actually see um see how it's done because yeah let's hmm. that is true that is true yeah force it to happen oh so i just checked out what my commute's gonna be it's around 15 minutes so travel 14 miles oh <coughs> i should <coughs> get a tea at some point you best do that, because we've been here for the past three hours now. We've only finished up um, four plushies out of... How many people did I um, tagged in? We had seven. Yeah, seven. I Good haven't, grief. I haven't done a big number of plushies so far, but uh, but I'm doing my best, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, honey. Yes? There's a good chance I'm probably going to work on Saturday. You gonna be okay, though? Do you want me to come with you? <coughs> I would very much like for you to come with me. Thank you. I would, uh, hey, remember, uh, remember, um, our, remember what I said? Through, for better or for worse? Yeah. A very wholesome relationship. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and fix that up. Both at both that and Transformers One are slated to come out in nine in September twentieth. Huh? Maybe it's something related to a previous um Oh, you posted the trailer that is about the wild robot. Okay. Okay, so that looks just about right. Okay. Now let's go and actually fix up this line art, and then we're actually got go be on our way to doing the colors. But you know. I actually do, but yeah, I actually do hope that she actually had a good time in WeebCon. I also saw from her tweets that she actually got to meet Krimbo on her, uh, during her time there. Krimbo? Um, another iconic VTuber that, um, is known for having, uh, is known for having one of the bit, um, a plus size model, but they still made it work with his own Riz. Mm. Yeah. I mean, 
There we go. Say what you want with a... Uh, I mean... <coughs> you're talking to somebody who... Um, is a little bit knowledgeable when it comes to VTubers. So... Yeah? <laughs> and I'm just making a gift that is a tribute to them. Ooh. What's up? Uh, sorry. Had to fish something out of my nose. Oh. Grimo is also a good bee. It's a shame that we didn't get to meet him, though, during WeebCon. <laughs> oh, sweet Aunt Jesus! Ah! Thank you. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. So... Having a color palette like this is a very good thing. I just need to figure out which one's the right um, color for the... Oh, which one will I pick for her eyes? Ugh. Is her eye literally not right there? It is there. It's just that there is... um. It's one of those detailed eyes, if you will. Because I operate in a two-color limit in order to make things a little bit more simplified for my work. This one has, like, five eye colors in them. <coughs> I mean, five colors instead of two. So, I'm gonna have to pick which of the five would be best ideal for the job. Does that make sense? Mm. Okay. And... Get, let's get that red hair there because we adore our redheads here. Yeah, I mean, I do have a weakness for them. I mean, I mean, you're not. I mean, I also would agree with that because, well. I mean, I married one. I used to date one. Ugh. Okay. I blame Zelda Ocarina of Time for me having a weakness for redheads. And Pokemon. Okay, let's go and... Use this for the color and... Okay, her hoodie has two tones, so we're gonna go and do that. And she's also wearing two-tone shoes, the same color. Ever heard of the VTuber Salesar? She's more newer than a, than that. Ca that's a Canadian artist that does emotes and other for other few streamers. Her avatar is a kitsune. I haven't, but you know that's something I, w I actually would actually give a. But I think I should actually give that a look and see what what she's like. Hmm. Holy Mother Teresa, she's she's also I I. You know what? I actually like the uh, Chi Chi's avatar because it's actually easy to do. Man, now I want to draw Chi Chi's avatar. <laughs> okay, so. Just because it's easy. Wouldn't take that much time. Okay. Okay, I need to ask a question. Yes? Um. I'm I'm just debating stars or no stars. Um, is this... Uh, for, for, the, for the cape. Hmm. Is this for Eve or normal? Eve. Hmm. Hmm. Put in the TV chat. That is a good question. I think the stars look much better with it, uh, that way when it's black. It's a good contrast, you know? Stars it is! Okay, and... Ah, crab baskets. Um, I usually would give pe my female characters lip color, but I'll give her the most natural one that I could actually do. Oh, god dang it. Tablet. Okay. 
Okay. Two and a half hours till game time. Thank you, Game Master. Two and a half hours? Already? Yes. Yes, it... Yes, in two and a half hours. I wonder if I have time to make dinner. Hmm. You might... I, I wonder if you want to stop early, if that's the case. But I only have, like, two people left. I mean, if you can get it done quickly, it's your prerogative. This is true. And if you don't have time, you could always order takeout. I mean... Honey, are you okay with that backup plan? Uh, he's muted. I think, uh, I don't think he's here. Oh, there he is. Hey. Um, sorry, I just haven't at the gas station. I don't want for it to be backup noise. That's okay. Um, um, as a backup plan, would you like some takeout for dinner? I'll pay for it. I... Okay. Okay. Sorry, it's just... There's a lot of money right now. Um, okay. Understandably. You sound like you've been through it, dude. That's... putting it mildly. Yeah, I have a feeling. Mm. Right. Okay. Truth be told, like, I'm not even sure I'm in the right, uh, headspace for the game tonight. I kind of just want to chill, just breathe. Mm -hmm. and, as my, and I do really want to play. I really do. It's just, I don't know if I can do a very good job right now, that's all. Maybe that'll change by the time the game rolls around, but... As things are right now. I understand. Yeah, I do too. It, but hey, it's okay if you just um, lay down and relax when you're home, okay? It's all up to you, bud. I mean, we can always have the session and just have you chill. Like, you don't have to engage as much. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I'm okay with that, because then I'd essentially just be drawing attention to myself by not doing anything. And I don't want to put that on anyone. Hmm. That's a valid concern. Fair. Essentially... I'd rather not say, at least not on stream. Right. Uh, right, right. Okay. That's okay. It's bad enough to draw other people in. It's even worse to do it and just vent all the steam and lay out all the shit right in front of dozens of people. They don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that. Jay, but Chad has just reminded me that there's a jar redeem. Any last words? Peaks and valleys, highs and lows. Pick your friends, not your nose. There you go. But you literally did that a few moments ago. Listen, do as I say, not as I do. Okay. There we go. And how am I going to make this work? The next per um person to turn into a plushie is gamer. Um, it is gamer Gary. And 
or more specifically, Gamer Goblin Gary. And, uh, and, uh, hey, Gary. oh boy. Okay. I think I'm going to have to use a different ruler. I guess I may have to use a different layer for um, other features, but I'll make this work. Is it weird that every time I see him, he looks like a goblin equivalent of Ganondorf? Is it? I don't know, it's just something about the red hair, mushy eyebrows, and the nose just screams Ganondorf to me. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so let's see. How am I going? Okay. No, I, I can make this work. I will make this work. This is not... This is not the first time I've done a model that has, um... That has features similar to these. I... I pull it off once, I'll pull it off again. Okay, let's see. So we're just going to go over here. Um, make this a little bit smaller. And Maybe I should actually try to call it early, but that would mean I have no choice but to skip out doing Heavenly's um, plushie, which... Uh. I mean, you got... Do you have anything else planned for this week? Well... I have my, um... Uh, well, I have the... Um, the seventh stand user for this week, and given I remember that there is no witch like campaign for this Saturday, um, as much as I want to do some more progress with Monster Hunter World, I want to take Saturday off to do some relaxing and cleaning up in the house. The house de does desperately need a clean. We've mm. been so um, busy taking care of the ranch that. Well, we didn't actually have time to take care of our home. Ah, I get it. Yeah. Or it's got to keep it not to up. mention that, yeah, you know, not to mention my long hours of work means I haven't been able to help out properly. Hey, mm. it's all right. We'll just take on little steps at a time, okay? I think I'll just give him normal plushy arms for this one, just like how I usually do the rest, to make things a little bit more simplified, and... Cause... The last one is Heavenly Father, and... who oh boy! No, I will make it work. I will make it work, just like I used to in the past. But, um... Yes, babe? dear? If you are gonna be paying for dinner, if it's all right, if I can make a request. Yes, dear. Can I be a pizza night? I want there to be leftovers for my lunch tomorrow. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Mm. Darn it, now I want pizza. <laughs> I, I've already eaten, so it's not like I'm hungry anymore. Okay. Alright. Let's... Let me turn off the... Let me um, move the ruler so I can... Make his earring, which is right here. But you know... We've come really taught me that, um... Out when if there's anything I took away from my time in WeebCon is that um, if you really don't know the person behind the avatar, it does make things a little bit um, tricky to find and meet other VTubers that um, that you kind of follow over time. Like it took me a while to recognize um, G Gary during the crowd in the, in the merch hall um, of the time. 
But it wasn't until that Banks actually pointed it out and I saw the logo on his shirt did my brain actually finally fire up from its um, um, 1990s mode that made me realize, oh shit, this is Gamer Goblin Gary himself. And he was actually a pretty chill dude, you know, just making some small talk in, uh, in, in conversation, but he's actually not so bad. But, yeah. Um, it's not just their voice, you have to be on the lookout on... You have to be on the lookout to identify the VTuber that you know. Unless they have, like, certain features on their person that you, that you can also find in their avatar, um... Trying to find out which who's the VTuber in question is is a little bit tricky. Mm. <laughs> like, um, I was able to recognize Banks because not only um to their photo Glasses. that they sh because of not only because of their photo, but they also are wearing the iconic um si signatures of their avatar, the the round sound sunglasses and the beanie. Mm. And yeah. in that case, that's enough, you know? I've actually just kind of had a thought and I just realized something. Yeah? My character looks exactly like I do. I mean... Like, like face-wise. I think for the best, if you're doing cons and bunch, it would help make you stand out. Yeah. Like... For people who have actually seen my face, they like the first thing they always say is, "What you look so like your character." I did not expect that. <laughs> like, okay, it's kind of weird when some characters, when you have like certain personas, it is. I think it's quite rare to actually see people who look exactly like their characters. Let's see. Okay, now for the now for the hard part. But what's the oh the nose? Yep. It's gonna look like Ice King at the end of this. <laughs> I mean, I can make it work. Hmm. Jeez, now I'm just being there reminded of Adventure Time. Um, <laughs> no, it needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay, so... Okay, and... Oh, no. Oh, goodness, gravity, no. Okay. Why is it this one fe facial feature is always very tricky for me to draw? You mean noses? Well, not just normal noses. Normal noses, yes. Um, noses that are, um, uniquely designed in shape, that's the one I'm talking about. Yes, Jeff. He's, okay, coming out pretty good with this. He just needs a few more details that needs to be refined, but, yeah. Okay, um, chat, I'm gonna be, um... Oh god damn it again! Okay. More oh, yeah, buttons. I'm on it. Thank you. Oh, All bots shall what? be exterminated. It. It. Exterminate. I swear, I. I think we. I. It, these got that's like the second time it happened. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just focus on driving, yeah? Okay. Um, you know what? What um while while you're at it, chat, we're gonna take a bit of a ten minute break just so I can also um not only recharge and stand up, but I also need to go and order dinner, okay? And I'm gonna get going as well too, because I've got it's practically midnight here, and I want to get something done in the morning. Right. Sleep! I'm going to go to sleep. That's why precisely why I'm logging off. 
Okay, you guys, um, let's go do that 10 minute break. I'll see you guys then. And all of you have a wonderful good evening.
Okay, we are back! Hello! Okay, thank you guys for waiting for me to come back live. Um, I just actually, I managed to make the time to order up some food, so um, pizza's going to be here for, um, until 6.20 to 40, so yeah. In the meantime, I got another delivery for you. Oh? This way, my guy. Can I? Can, can you kindly explain? Listen, listen. I have to say, as an actor, I wear the masks of comedy and tragedy. The thing is, they're intertwined with each other. <sighs> you know what? Fine. <laughs> okay. So, I guess we could. Possibly try our best to finish this thing up before we actually would call it a day. Um, some of this will be uh some some of this will definitely need some more polish post stream, but that's okay. And besides, a plushie is kind of a, a simplified version of the actual thing anyway. And I gotta say, this one looks uh, like it's coming out pretty well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start coloring him up. I do like the contrast in colors when it comes to red and green and how Gamer Gary um, actually designed their avatar, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, it's a solid design. Um, and you don't see a lot of goblins with red hair. Nope, not at all. So, it it so it's kind of like the unicorn. I yeah, it's kind of like the unicorn um VTuber um model designs, but I kind of but that's kind of um a tall order because. What do you mean unicorn? I've yet well, when it comes to VTubers. Each and every one of them will always make a design to make them stand out. Or some that'll make it simplify, but still find a way to make it stand out in a bunch. Mmm. So, I think for me, a uni I think for my case, for a well-designed um, avatar would be that um, someone made their avatar that's based in the 1990s, um, uh, the 2000s, um... Shoujo manga style, if you will. Hmm. Boy, I remember those being all over the place. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Takes me back to my early DeviantArt days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, his teeth also is yellow. I'll do the sharp tooth post stream because there's so much go, there's so much that needs to be done. So. Unfortunately, I'm cutting corners in certain areas, but this will, the scuff will be, act, the scuff and bunch will be situated post stream. I wish I could actually stick around longer for them, but uh, we're, 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 we're trying to wrap things up here, folks. Okay, um, 
Okay, I'm going to cheat. Okay, uh, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat just this once, just, just this once, just this absolute one, one time thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and fix up those um, symbols over there. I mean, let's fix up this shirt right there. Okay, I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna decide to not use the border effect for this. What's wrong with uh, What's wrong with it? Um, my lines are a bit too thin, and uh, apparently the um, the colors are bleeding out. Oh. Oh dear, that's yeah. Okay, you know what? That that's fair. Hmm. I love vector. I love vector lines when they work, but oh boy, are they frustrating when they don't. Whoo! That's yeah. That's a mood. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um. All right, that's Gamer Goblin Gary. Okay. As wish I, as much as I wish I could continue more on this, this is something I'll do post stream. Refinement will take place at that time. Gamer Goblin Gary, because we got one more peep. We got one more person. We got one more. The last one for the day. Last ride of the day. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, let me just stretch this out a little bit. Okay, chat. Okay. Since you, since you do, Gary. Um, how many you got? You you got? Um, you got to do many two, many two, huh? What? I don't get it, Jexo Dragon. This is why grammar is important. Okay, there he is! The last one! The oh, last. boy! Heavenly That's gonna take a while. Heavenly Father himself. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, no. I can make this work. I will make this work. I am positive that I can make this work. Otherwise, I'm going to be... You're going to be one upset Miki. I'm going to be an upset Miki, all right? But I can make this work! I can make this work. Okay. Now, I only got to learn about Heavenly Father thanks to Steve when he was listening and watching videos to Russian Badger, if you will. And... Uh-huh. Russian Badger is a well is a well known Twitch streamer who actually would is also uh, well known for making his funny edits on uh, on segments on his videos, especially um segments on his Twitch streams in the past. And he's not completely alone when it comes to doing these um, um video skits and bunch. He's always tagged along with other iconic friends of his, and one of them is Heavenly Father. Which, um, cult of many, cult of many, a VTuber like Gary, you're gonna plushify her too? I don't know this person, um, Jexa Dragon. I think you may have to give me, a, um, a link of her so I can actually set, send it in my way so that way I can actually, um, see this for myself because I'm drawing a blank. Now, and, okay, so where was I? Ah, yes, Heavenly Father. So, I just thought Heavenly Father is just one of those other streamers that tags alongside with Russian Badger. What I didn't know is that, um, Russian Badger, uh, what I didn't know is that Heavenly Father is also a VTuber, 
And he's actually, uh, and he actually d makes his own appearance when it comes to other bigger VTubers out there, such as Takahata101 himself. Huh. Yeah, I'm actually as surprised as you are. I also, yeah, I, I will say I'm impressed. He's also well known for his, uh, for his sense of humor, as well as what, uh, as well as the way as he talks. So when I learned that, uh, so when Steve and I learned on the on the iconic basis that's going to be meeting up there in Weebcon, one of them is Heavenly Father th himself. That just kind of solidifies our time, our, our our decision to just say, all right, you know what? Get this now we have more reason to go into Weebcon. Let's go do. Let's go make this work. And so we actually um, make the plan of attack to go and find um, find the other VTubers and where they're going to be at. Thing is, Heavenly is not in Uwu land like Melissa and Victoria. He he alongside with other he can be found in an in a different. Oh God damn it again! Working on it. They are yeah. persistent today. That's the third. That's the fifth one. But yes, um, but yes, um, Heaven Heavenly Father's, um, booth is not located in, in, U is not located down below in, um, Uwa Land, but he's located into the dealer's hall, where, um, other, where people actually will go to for the merch and getting autographs of iconic, um, figures from the voice acting industry. Emily is also there too, but um, yeah, we decided not nah because um, this is we decided not nah, uh, 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 at least not for this time, and so fair enough. Um, we actually had to find our way to get in. We actually found the the line that reaches to Heavenly Father at uh, that uh, uh, at that Saturday, which um. Which I will say this though, the jitters on how I mentioned it before um, came back. My social anxiety has started to slowly um, make its way back into me, and even though we're like um, several peop several if not tens of people away from reaching to him himself, eh, it it I hate it when it does happen though. So. But it also made me realize that, oh shit, we did not have anything to have Heavenly Father sign. This is the case of, of when it comes to Victoria and Zolon again. We went into their, their line, but we did not have anything for them to sign. And we can't use the same shaker cup technique that we got from Uwu Land. That, because that thing can be easily be rubbed off. I was scrambling there as we're getting closer and closer. Like, bruh, what am I gonna do? There's gotta be something for me to actually get him to sign. I don't. Ha I wish I had my notebook with me. I wait. I stop mid sentence as then I look down as then a thought occurred to me. Remember how I said that Eldritch Grandpa had basically gotten um. Remember how I said that Eldritch Grandpa had basically brought markers with him just so he could actually have people sign his hat? Well, uh huh. It made me just um. It. Well, I look down onto my uh, onto my cosplay. The one art. The one thing that is white on me is my apron. So, I just. Even though it's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice I was willing to make. That I actually, when it's finally t our turn to meet up Heavenly Father for um, for the, the autographs and meet up, I actually got him to sign my apron. Neat. I mean, it, he's actually a pretty chill dude in person as well. In fact, he's also uh, when we asked him what is his plans for uh, for his time in Texas, he's actually wondering if there's going to be a place that is um a good enough for that is good enough for a barbecue. And Steve actually. And you're in Texas, so. <laughs> so Steve and, and uh, so 
So Steve and I got to make some small talk with uh, Heavenly Father, but he actually likes the recommendations when it comes to, well, the choice of barbecue that we have in, uh, that we um, both think of, especially when it comes to brisket, you know? And he said he can't wait to actually try that thing out. So, yeah. um, we actually um, went as far to, uh, so we actually part ways and we just took, and, and as the booth kind of closes up and Heavenly is actually talking to an agent of his, I don't know, um, all I, I just, uh, I just tell, I, I just wish, uh, I just said out loud to him, um, have, at least, go have, have fun here in Texas, Heavenly, and he just turn around and just waves, and just waves and smiles off, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I actually t uh, took the time to take a picture with him when, um, when I was still there in the booth with him, you know? Mm-hmm. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Let's see. But, you know, that one booth kind of reminded me of the time when, um... It was, well, when it comes to Sunday, the day before Steve and I had to, um, leave, uh, leave, leave, um, Grapevine so we could actually get ourselves, um, on our way back to home. And this is the story about, and this particular kind of story is where I want to meet one more v um, VTuber in a virtual meetup before we had to leave. Hmm. And that one is where I finally got to um, do a virtual meetup of Basil Wolf. Now, Basil is another iconic figure into the VTuber scene, who is known for being having this shit post quality humor with the sound, what with the soundboards and how he actually made it work, and as well as. Um, as well as how he's actually one of the v few VTubers that I know who is practicing on uh, on expanding the lore of their avatar and the world building that came with it. Because when I will say this, when you look up Basil Wolf's vid, um, Basil Wolf's video on vi videos, especially his debut videos. You will see, um, it talks about the lore about the world that Basil Wolf is from, as well as the titular character himself. Huh. Not often do I see VTubers try to expand their lore of their world, and the character it, that ties to them in question. So, when Steve and, and I- Basil Wolf did? And Basil Wolf is among them. Nice. So, so Steve and I were just um, what, looking around into the uh, into the con, see what we could do before it, um, Basil's um, meet and greet is on. And it is there that we actually, uh, it is there that um, we actually uh, got to wait in line for Basil's turn to finally be up. And. While we are waiting, we actually got to learn that um, we're basically the only people that are actually waiting on Basil. At least the first few. Because um, there has... I've lost count on how many people actually came up to us on when we're waiting in line. And they all I ask is, hey, is this the line for Buff Pup? And I, and I said... Uh, no, this is for Basil Wolf. And the moment I actually confirmed that, um, their faces kind of fell and they moved on. Because Buff Pup is also another iconic VTuber out there. Known for having a, a buff werewolf girl type of avatar. And she's actually really sweet. But, um, the more people keep asking for us, um, is this a line for Buff Pup? And we ask... No, this is for Basil. I lost track on how much is that, and I can't help but feel more and more upset for Basil. And I also can't help but feel, well, livid, you know? Because his 
Pamela's coming Honest up soon, and where Honestly, are the disrespect on show there. If anything, it makes me ask, where are his bands? Shouldn't they also be making the time to actually, you know, see this iconic VTuber? So, yeah. Um, it, it, it eventually became a point where we're basically, um, the first ones in line for <clears throat> Basil's, um, panel when it's finally his turn. There's also another one, too, behind us. I can't remember, but it's mostly just me and Steve, and I honestly don't know how to properly feel about that. Other than, um, feeling upset for Basil, if you will. But, um, it's also another case where Miki's having social anxiety again because, hey, guess what? You're the first one to go in line, just like Victoria's turn. Oh, I'm trying my best not to panic and scream internally, you know? So, when it's finally, um, time for us to finally meet Basil, and his avatar is now on into the screen, Steve, in his usual flair, gave me the, um, gave me a push, gave me, um, the first step of overcoming your anxiety by gently pushing me, in full, um, right forward, right then and there. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, there, I mean, there's a thing called tough love, so Steve is practicing that for my sake. <clears throat> I mean, hey, at, le at least this is, as so long as it's understood that it's tough love between the two. Yeah, yeah, this is true. But, um, aside from being overly anxious when, um, I was right there in front of Basil himself, um... Aside from, I just actually had a good time, um, getting to have the small meet and greet, and, well, and I also took the time to actually just be honest for at least one piece of minute, if you will. I, I actually took the time to say, to actually just tell Basil that I want to think, uh, that I want to be, uh, that I'm very thankful, you know? I'm grateful that I actually got to discover Basil and also got to follow him since because I, um, I was not in a good place, you know, a couple of years back. I, um, was feeling a lot of sense of, sense of self-doubt what with having my place being here in the VTubers, um, but what would be me being a VTuber, a PNG tuber in, um, a very, in a very gro fast growing environment where, um, lots of people would, where there's lots of people who actually would grow, at, um, faster than I could. I also am struggling with trying to, um, figure out my place with my ex Fred Alabaster's um, uh, uh, Alabaster's corner, and honestly, I can't help but feel a sense of self doubt on, well, on my on what on my on my position of my per person. So, one day when I was scrolling through Twitter, a particular um, red. P um PNG tuber graduate video appeared which is Basil graduating from being a PNG tuber avatar to that of a to that of the um live 2D model that he has right now and there's just something about that video of his that really touched something in me that he made he made it work just by being a PNG tube avatar and eventually would rise up to becoming that of an, a, a live 2D mo um, live 2D model himself and 
in a sense, that video of his actually did inspire me. That no matter how things actually got bad, it, it will eventually get better. That, hmm. um, that, um, so long as you keep do, being, do, being you as well as, um, uh, hone your craft a lot more as well as try to, um, as well as try your best to, um, to be you and master your story, it will happen. It will make it work. So, I actually was, I actually meant it from the bottom of my heart when I told, when I said to Basil, thank you. I know that my voice is small in a chorus of the chat that he has in his stream, or stinkers as he likes to call them. Just like how I call my chat patrons, because I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> I just want that one moment then and there that I just want to tell him from the bottom of my heart, thank you, because I kind of have a sense of hope that if that I too would eventually get better. <laughs> Basil really is actually thankful, uh, grateful when I came by in that time and I actually told him then and there. And I'm hoping that in a way that he remembers me after what happened. <laughs> I think you made his day. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I mean, he was able to... Uh, he w when I uh, when I actually showcased the pictures that I took with um took with my time in that in, <coughs> in that booth that features Heavenly and Basil, Basil is very grateful in a sense that um I showcased it there. Even he went as far to actually just respond on you know that he is grateful that I made it there in time. So yeah, I guess you're right. I know I'm right. <laughs> Sorry that I made things a little bit sappy. Listen. Listen. In our neck of the woods, we enjoy sap. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. Okay. But that being said, I do need to take off. I gotta, I gotta prep dinner for myself. All right, you take care. I'm going to try my best to finish this thing up before I call it here. That is not his skin tone color. That is. <laughs> All right, I'll see ya. Take care. See you later. So, yeah. When it come, but I will say this though, I. I look up to Basil, but I refuse to say the word hero because he's just someone that I heavily, uh, that I do look up to that uh, when it comes to be a creator. I, I, I had someone I once called my hero in the past and I intend to not let history repeat itself. But I hope that Basil actually is doing okay and good, you know? Okay, so let me go ahead and... Um, I think I may fucked up on this one. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go and fix this one up right there. Got my first streak here in the inn. Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. That's great. I'm actually glad that that's ha um. Congratulations on your first streak. Really. Okay. 
so we're gonna go and try our best to we're gonna try our best to make this thing work chat because oh no um okay that's not the color for his mask so I'm gonna go ahead and start um, working on the corners over there. I don't know if that's, no, that's not the color for this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. Okay, so Heavenly has a little bit on the bright greens and grays on his design. So, we're going to try our best to make this just about right. Any details that we um, messed up is definitely going to be um, featured in um, post-stream because... We're on a time limit right now, chat. I wish I could continue more of this, but, um... Eh, things are just not in my favor. That reminds me, when was your Life 2D coming? Um... I honestly don't know, because... I definitely need to ask... But I do... I'm planning to ask Banks on certain... Oh! Oh! Well... Sorry there, fellas, but I'm going into a tunnel. to see you too, Gremlin. Hey! As Gremlin has, been be has came back from hunting frogs. You've started hunting frogs? Yes, 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 yes. May I ask why and what variety? As Gremlin is hunting this big froggy. Uh, as Gremlin is got ha hold on. As Gremlin is digging pictures. Ah! I ha I hope it is not either. I hope it is not this an one or grung. Sorry, what now? This one though! This is how good men are trying to hunt this froggy. Me. Is that a grung? No! Many things. Many things was funny though. He wants me to not, to not hunt this froggy. It's either. It looks like a combination of a grung and a murloc. Ah, uh, ah, uh, like this. Ah, it's a cheese and a chuck. It's a chucky cheese cookie. Hey. I too am a fan of cheesecake, although I don't tend to go for chocolate myself. Uh -huh. Why not? I've never actually had the opportunity to try cheesecake in chocolate flavor, to be fair. I'm going to leave you a slice up for you, wizard. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Remember something? Eh, nah, my problem is not in part TT. But how's Gimmy's up? Oh, oh, wait! Ah, wait! Ah! 
Why were you borrowing the spell book? How's your man want to do homework? What were you... Why were you using my spell book to do your homework? For the lamp! Oh. And also for the lamp! And also for the lamp! For the lamp! What do you mean for the lamp? How's your man is teleporting lamp, remember? Oh. Uh. Yes, 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 yes. That makes sense. Still needs my modification either. Because last time, uh, Lamb actually took me to the wrong place. What do you mean the wrong place? Ah, uh, yes, it, it is usually not best not to go there, it is a silly place. Ah, uh, but how can we like silly place? Grimlin. Is it? Yes, Grimlin. I put cider in the bath. Uh. Some things never change. Gremlin stopped in and wanted to say hi. Oh, she didn't cause any mischief again, did she? Yeah, she borrowed my spell book, although I'm not entirely sure what she needed it for, other than quote unquote homework. Um, probably make sure that everything's in place. My thoughts exactly. Okay, guys, we did it! We finally finished Heavenly! At least for now. I wish I could. I, I mean, as much as I want to do the rest of him a little later, we. Well, that is going to be something that's go, that's to be done off screen. So, there we go. We have done so far. Birdism. Vexoria. Zolon, Eldritch Grap, Pa, Chi Chi, Gamer Goblin Gary, and finally, good old um, Heavenly Father. And this is going to be something that's to be done off screen. Well, Zolon's the only one that's pretty much just up and done. I mean, he's my favorite plushie all done here. But anyways... Now that we're all done for the day, how about we actually go and see who we shall raid? Um, let me see. Melly is currently on. Heavenly's also on. And so is Callie. Hmm. You know what? How about we actually go to Callie? She deserves the um, she deserves uh, the love, uh, the love, and she's just, I, she, I think she just got on, so why not? Sounds like a plan. Let me go ahead and start making the raid message. I definitely need you, and there we go. And with that kind of up and done, we are now gonna go straight ahead to good old, um, um, Humst? Okay, uh, no. 
I just want to, um, there we go, there, there we go, um, Ray Channel. This, um, new feature is weird. Where's Callie? There's Callie. There we go, guys. Make sure you guys copy that raid message. You can easily, um, get that mess. You can easily get access to the email by just redeeming your feathers for the day. So, I truly do appreciate that you guys came by here today and watching me draw after it has been so long since we've done this. Tomorrow, we're going to get back into the swing of things with some, when it comes to 7th Stand user. And I am looking forward to doing that with you guys there. So, I hope that you all have a good night, okay? May you all have a good night. May you all eat well and rest well. And I'll see you guys next time in the Paper Plane Inn. Take care! Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>